Hello, and welcome to uh, session 003 of, of Ancients, Agents of Rich, or Agents of, of uh, uh, Ares, as, <laughs> as it is at the moment. And we are minus our, our Russian, so things will be much less Soviet. <laughs> No cunning plans. Not that they were that Soviet uh, uh, in the last session. So um, we start this mission not not with any one particular getting a, a recorded briefing. You are <laughs> assembled in Los Angeles, California, uh, at a uh, at a briefing location to personally meet with the scholar who is the, which is the code name of Dr. John Silence, who is the director of, uh, of Aegis. He very seldom appears <laughs> to people mm. uh, when he does, uh, such as uh, this particular meeting. He always does so behind a, uh, a privacy screen. So when you come into the well-appointed um, offices, uh, that you're led into, uh, you're more or less facing a a desk uh, that has been walled off by a uh, basically a prophecy screen that's set up uh, uh, like a changing uh, changing screen. So it's a little, you know, folding uh, 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 item, uh, but uh, you can see that. There's someone behind it. You see a silhouette, and uh, there's kind of a golden light uh, playing on the edges of, of the uh, privacy screen uh, as uh, the assistants uh, bring you in and have you uh, seated. Uh, you're given uh, cocktails or, or whatnot as appropriate. Mm. So very similar to to an MI6 briefing for those of you <laughs> who, who come from that uh, side of things. And then, uh, yeah, for the two Yanks, this is probably a little more formal, uh, you know, a little more informal and posh than, than you're used to. Usually meeting at some horrible uh, fluorescent lit <laughs> uh, <laughs> briefing room with a really bad copy. I'm sorry to pull you away from your various assignments, uh, he begins, but something has come up locally, and since you were in the area, I have opted to assign it to your group. Armando De La Rante is a movie producer here in Los Angeles. He is, he is bankrolling a movie called The Haunter in the Church, which is a, I suppose the term that is used commonly now, a horror film that is based loosely on the files of Dr. Thomas Carnacki, who was, as you are probably well aware, a founding member of Aegis. The movie is not of tremendous concern to the agency. However, it has come to our it has come to our knowledge that the properties department of this movie is going to be utilizing an actual piece of equipment from Dr. Carnacki's collection that we thought had been lost, the electric pentacle. And with that, he will push a button and you see a slide projector um, bring up a device that is basically a a pinnacle made out of uh made out of conductive tubing on the ground uh, conductive wiring uh and at each point on the star and in the center are vacuum tubes and uh and other uh, uh conductive structures all hooked into a battery bank and this is intended to do two things uh, from your agency training and understanding it. A, it is a pinnacle, and, but B, it, it emits uh, electromagnetic force, which subsequent 
uh, research uh, in the agency uh, believes is something that ghosts don't like. <laughs> that the ghost phenomenon and electromagnetic phenomenon are apparently vibrationally similar enough that that a strong EM field uh, uh, damages or, or protects against ghosts. Mm -hmm. So they are worried <laughs> that this unit, uh, we're, we're worried, our chief worry is that this unit has been utilized in the field by Dr. Karnacki and might pose some danger to the film and its, uh, and its production crew. In order to facilitate maximum safety and deniability for ourselves, we are asking you to attend uh, the the filming of this movie, uh, which is underway now, and we prepared to help you uh, establish cover identities in order to ingratiate yourself into the production, and as soon as possible, switch out the unit for a dormant one that will be provided by Gene Hamilton, and he presses another button. Uh, the doors open and in walks a kind of a prim uh, a brunette lady in um, a, a pantsuit, uh, 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 her hair pulled back, glasses, uh, and he, he gestures in her direction. Um, this is Jean Hamilton from the Tinker Division. She is an expert on the historical pentacle design, which she is seeking to replace in the near future. She has a duplicate uh, that should serve to should serve as a replacement uh, that will be safer and less functional than the model that the current movie production uh, has. It's very I would big. also. Um, oh yes. No, please. no, just, just, uh, no. It's very big. The the, the pentacle. A second. It, uh, the size of the pentacle. Uh, it is made to contain several people, so it is when oh, it is big. deployed. Okay. Yeah, when it is deployed, it is about um, two two meters or so wide in any in either. Oh, well, I'm sorry, three. Three meters or so wide. Uh, ten feet. Ten feet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. And uh, yeah. As an aside, in the stories, he like fits five guys into this thing at one point. You know. So so yeah. It it seems as though he can extend the uh, the wire portions out enough to to make a pretty big uh, a pretty big space. So. Uh, but yeah, okay. think of think of something you know made for for several people, and you're you're in the mm, okay. Uh, now it is made to collapse, so it, it will be it will be portable, and we assume that the production, we assume that the movie production is storing it with the rest of the properties uh, that are used uh, for the filming. Mm -hmm. So do you have cover identities for us already or should we do we need to arrange them? We have only just we have only just been made aware of this as a possibility uh, uh, because um, your companion here uh, noticed it in a what's the term and she says uh, in a in a fan magazine sir hmm. and he, he just sort of gestured there you have it. Um, she became aware of this, uh, brought it to our attention, and we we think it's safest to switch it out. While there, we wouldn't mind if you would see if you could ascertain how they came into possession of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not uncommon for some of Dr. Karnacki's things to have gone missing. Uh, uh, during the first war, uh, in particular, much of his equipment was deployed and had to be abandoned for various military or uh, security purposes. But uh, we were unaware of an enemy capture of anything 
uh, of this nature and we can't account for the missing equipment. But you can leave that, uh, you can leave that to Miss Hamilton, who will be able to verify uh, the status of the pinnacle, uh, and that it is in fact an actual uh, pinnacle, which is their strongest supposition at the moment. Well, we it is an actual pentacle, right? We just don't know if it's a real artifact or not. Correct. Uh, it, there's reasons to believe that uh, the if, that if they were constructing a pentacle, that they would not have this level of detail. Uh, it, there are item, there are aspects of the pentacle construction which are present in the pictures that we have seen that should not be publicly available. Hmm. So either their prop manufacturer is very, very uh, in tune to our operations, or that is a real uh, that is a real piece of equipment. It could present a danger to the production. Uh, it could be indicative of something larger. That's why we want agents on the mm -hmm. ground to have some experience. We stand ready to help you backfill any cover stories that you would like. Uh, we probably think it best that you go in as perhaps extras, reporters, um, probably, members of the crew. Yeah, yeah members of the crew, yes. I think one of you could be the stunt double. <laughs> Just think. Yeah. Not me. Very well. I will leave it to you. Um, let procurement know what you need. They will arrange for the backstopping of your cover identities. <laughs> Hopefully we can get the operation underway within a day or two. What if we are in charge of catering? Probably the probably I'll be the assistant, the the boy who does who does every errand then. The key Oops. group, the key grip, yeah, or the best boy. Yeah, the best boy. Yes. At I least. will leave you to determine. Uh, what methodology you wish. I wish you luck in your endeavors. Uh, thank you for your service agent. And he stands up, walks to a door that is behind the screen, and that light goes away as he closes the door behind him. Uh, the, 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 the woman that, that came in, what's her name? Uh, she's Jean Hamilton. She Jean is Hamilton. a member of the Tinker Division. Okay. She's... And yeah, she she waves to everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. As as the uh, scholar indicated, I am uh, I am an expert on the historical pentacle design and some of the refinements that have been made uh, in the time since then. So have you have you. Here, the the, um, the duplicate, the the copy. Yes, uh, I've already uh, already took the liberty uh, as the scholar was uh, initiating this to to put together. It is it is a semi-functional version. It's one that we maintain for uh, testing purposes, mm -hmm. but uh, I have rendered it non-functional, and we're going to switch it out with uh, the the one they have when it's all uh disassembled it's we can transport it in, in a suitcase in what yeah it's like a two-person uh two-person foot locker uh oh. so okay yeah kind of like a traveling trunk okay uh so, if you'll come with me i can show you i can show you what we're dealing with how to assemble it is assemble the, the the apparatus Yes, if you like, I can I can go over the the uh, the deployment. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, so she will lead you uh, to her laboratory or to a warehouse where uh, uh, she is working with it. And yeah, you see that it's it's a rather large, kind of cumbersome uh, piece of uh, of work. It's very early electrical uh, uh, elements, so you think this thing's probably you know, late Victorian, uh, early Edwardian age, you know, it's, it's, it's got, uh, it's got vacuum tubes, but they are more or less, um, custom made ones. Uh, uh apparently Carnacki had them, you know, had them blown and, and, uh, filled to his specification. Uh, so every, everything except the battery, looks like it's custom machined work and she confirms as much but yeah you you basically set it out and then pull taut the the elements make sure that they're all even and then when you fire up the uh, the contacts on the battery uh everything just sort of gets a soft glow to it as uh, as the thing comes online it produces a little bit of heat um but she she lets you know this one won't won't do won't do what it it's supposed to do it it just will look like you know it will yeah. it'll just light up <laughs> basically you know that so it's that going it's to be hard actually... it's going to be hard to replace because it's a big thing it's a big thing but uh, our, my hope is is that we can get to it when it's not being used in the production like if we can get ourselves into the properties area and let me look at it, make sure we match. If not, I'll change any elements necessary. Uh, if we find out the thing is a complete fake, then we can just dust off and not worry about anything. Hmm. But as as the scholar said, the thing that I saw in the fan magazine, and she shows you basically, she's got a, you know, kind of a mod, uh, uh, I, I don't. I think Fangoria is probably it's probably a little early for it, but you know she has a movie, uh, you know, movie uh, production uh, kind of uh, uh, a magazine. It's very mod styled for the age, and she flips to you know kind of a two page uh, article where they're talking about you know they're filming the next big uh, the next big uh, spooky movie that's going to come out based on historical events <coughs> okay pardon me uh roger coleman is the director he's famous for doing kind of uh schlocky uh movies in the last decade and this time uh or in this era he, he does a little more kind of a uh, date movie uh horror movies and sci-fi movies uh with uh, a little bit of uh, titillation to them. So uh, if if he sounds like a director you may have know or may have heard of, that's and that's what's very the, cynical of. What's the name of the, of the movie? This one. The name name of the movie is uh, is the Altar in the Church. Mm, okay. And it yeah it's uh, Armando De Laurente is the producer. Roger Coleman is the director. And it is starring Frank Conrad as Thomas Carnacki. Uh, these are all well. Uh, the the actors don't ring a bell, but <laughs> but the producer <laughs> throws a lot of money around for uh, spaghetti westerns and you know Hammer horror style movies. Uh, and yeah, the director is like I say, famous for for making B movies that are you know okay. solidly entertaining. So, uh, where can we get our cover-ups? Yeah, so you go to procurement and just tell them, "Hey, I need, I need this, this, this," and then we, you know, they have people that, you know, will backfill the records and things like yeah. that. It okay. Usually takes them a little while, but they're going to do kind of a rush job, <clears throat> and it doesn't have to be too sturdy i mean these people aren't going to be running background checks and stuff <laughs> on you you know because yeah. you're carnies basically <laughs> show biz folk don't ask a lot of questions uh, from what you gather <clears throat> so yeah they will set up basically you know uh, a way of of 
intercepting a, a catering uh, companies, mm -hmm. uh, you know, or pay the catering company to let you guys handle it instead or, or what have you. So is that your thinking, catering and stuff, man? Is that... and, uh, also, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to do catering. Okay. I would yeah. like to be the the best boy. Okay. Any man. Any man. Yeah, you need to put the name of your character, Miguel, or you won't remember. <laughs> I was going to say, and then... Yeah, I was going to change it. In I thought he was... That's his cover name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm hiding behind my... He's going to be, he's gonna be famous uh, game designer, Miguel, over there. <laughs> Only 15 years before. <laughs> <laughs> and Cooper will be what? A stuntman? Yeah, I think Cooper will be could be a stuntman, but I don't know if he wants to follow Cassandra's suggestion. Does No, I'm no. <laughs> no, Sorry, I didn't. What did you say? If you want to be a stuntman, what's yes, going to be yes, your yes. cover? Of okay. course, of course, I want okay. to be a stuntman. I didn't know if you wanted because it was my suggestion, my character suggestion. Oh, okay. Well then, no, yeah, stuntman makes sense. All right. So you're not uh, going to yeah, be. You... I'm going to go. I'm going to because it shouldn't all go with the same the same uh, way. Yeah, I'm going to be the with the catering team. Yeah, basically, uh, within within the next uh, day or so, uh, FBI agents have shown up at you know the actual uh, you know staffers' uh, houses and say, you know, for national security purposes, mm -hmm. you might want to bang in sick today or in the next few days, and uh, you know we'll make it up to you. And uh, yeah, you're the catering company that normally. Uh, works for them is uh, is encouraged to have you there. So you're part of uh, you're part of four person uh, catering group uh, that's coming in, and they just slide you in effortlessly. They're they the people that you're working with know that they've never worked with you before, but they don't know mm -hmm. that you're basically just the new girl as far as they know, right? Like you're a new hire, uh, so they're showing you the ropes and such. Um, for the uh, for the other two, yeah, you're you're just basically people from the the work service that you know are are hired to replace uh, uh, you know sick sick or uh, or in in some other way uh, uh, busy uh, personnel yeah. missing missing. So yeah, unbeknownst to these people, three new people, and uh, are, do you guys have a preference for what Jean uh, should should have as her? Uh, her cover story. Well, I, she, I think she should be handling props or something in production that will make her easy for her to. Yeah. Special so, effects. Yeah, probably. Yeah, or makeup. Gotcha. Well, they. Let's see how good the cure might be. They fight a valid or uh, a valiant fight, but they say that the prop company really, really does want. Mm -hmm. That you know is like they they don't have a you know a a leg into this this the prop master uh, for the company um, is is a friend of the director and you know he he does things his own way and yeah he's basically is refusing he's refusing uh, any any help in that regard and so. Yeah, they, they can't get her in as a prop person, but they uh, they they suggest probably just tacking her on as an additional member of catering since mm -hmm. the catering company is so accommodating. Okay. So two days hence, you are on a movie set um, uh, in the outskirts of L.A., um, they are filming uh, at basically a mission out uh, just out of town uh, that still looks kind of uh, 
still looks kind of castly <laughs> to for their purposes so it's a uh, you know a, a stonework uh, uh recreation uh, and so it, it's churchy enough and castly enough that uh the 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 site uh the site scouts liked it uh for that purpose so uh you you report uh uh, early, uh, usually they they start around uh, uh, six o'clock uh, in the morning, and uh, they will begin filming around seven. So the actors have their trailers. The director has a has a trailer. Everyone else just sort of you know is uh, milling about doing doing the things that are required to set up the shot for the day. And you guys are setting up breakfast. Uh, uh, on the catering truck and running it out to uh, the various people. The producer is not on site. Apparently, he is still in Italy hmm. somewhere, but uh, the director uh, is uh, apparently in his trailer and is, is apparently in a fuming mood from the uh, <clears throat> from the scuttlebutt uh, on the set. Does the producer has also a, um, a trailer or no? No, he's he's not there at all. Like he no. he he's just in Italy. He he, no, he wrote but... the checks and 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 he's not apparently very interested in this production in okay. comparison okay. to some of the others he's doing. Okay. But Roger Coleman is there, and yeah, the scuttlebutt is, is that he's in a mood today. Um, uh, the writer is present. His name is Simon Goosedown. Uh, and he is kind of a, uh, he's a screenwriter. Uh, he, he was a playwright in England and he, uh, he's apparently a history buff and he's the one that came up with this idea. And the actors involved are Frank Conrad, who's playing Karnacki. Hugh Walton, who was an actor playing Vicar Bond, who was the vicar of the of the uh, uh, the church, uh, uh, the titular, titular church of the of the movie, and then Annette Mulligan, who is this uh, new hot actress uh, who is playing a, uh, a a young village girl who is being possessed by some some untoward creature that Karnacki has to come and stop. And the scenes that they're going to be filming here are close to the end of the movie where uh, the, the vicar and Karnacki are trying to fight the creature that is possessing the poor girl. Uh, hmm. And they, they've got a, several scenes on the docket for today. Uh, and yeah, people are, uh, apparently there've been a lot of script changes and, uh, uh, and, and the cinematographer is very upset uh, that you know some some of the things are not working out the way she wants. Uh, uh, Lana Wright is the is the cinematographer and and the you know principal photographer for this. And she's this is her first movie, uh, and you know she's she's trying to make a name for herself. So every the scuttlebutt uh, is that she's kind of a she's kind of a battle axe, and that she's been making a lot of she's been a bit of a diva about everything because she wants everything to be perfect for her big debut. Okay. And then everyone else is like, lady, it's, it's a B movie. Like, you know, just do your, do your bid and go home. But she's not having it. Well, uh, uh, yes, yes. No, I was just going to say that I'm going to use the, the catering, uh, the opportunity that I'm serving coffee and food to people to shut them up and see if I find any gossip. Yeah, what uh, is there? Are you fishing for particular types of gossip? Or you just uh, yes, well, I guess it could about? be. Uh, I will listen. First, I will just listen for something uh, interesting because I'm yeah, considering the, the possibility there's something supernatural about, well, not supernatural about the, f the film, but they are using the the pentacle with a, with an intention. So I would see yeah. for something weird. The the big scuttlebutt is that people think that Annette and, and Simon 
are are an item like the rider and the girl playing the the villager mm -hmm. they think that they're an item because they've seen them together whispering and and you know carrying on with each other but there are other people that you know kind of fuss back at them like no no if she's got her eyes on any uh you know if he's got his eyes on anybody it's uh, it's lana right you know the cinematographer because he's also been seen you know with her and they're very friendly and 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 uh, uh affectionate with each other so yeah they're the the big scuttlebutt they have is just about who who the actress is sleeping mm -hmm. with or or who the writer is sleeping with between the two okay so nothing interesting yeah and that the director is is in a bad mood today for some reason He's already he's already fussed at the props master, and mm -hmm. he's he's been fussing at uh, uh, Atlanta about mm -hmm. some of the uh, some of the setups and stuff that he wants. And apparently, there've been a lot of of recent script changes that uh, everybody's very upset at everybody else about. Well, I'm going to find out what type of script changes. Just get them talking. I guess if they will talk. Because yeah, they're, they're self obsessed. They're, yeah, they basically say that this whole thing is about how you know the Carnegie, the, the very few people that have heard of him, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, speak well of him. And this is kind of the the movie is is supposed to be portraying that like his work did more harm than good. Mm -hmm. uh, that you know that he was he was. Uh, he was using methods that probably, you know, uh, were a net negative. And the the big the big change that's being made in the script is uh, they want the the vicar to kind of show up and you know take over for Carnacki mm -hmm. when when you know his his techniques fail and and demonstrate that you know that. That there's there that he's more of a problem than a solution, and and people are like, well, this doesn't make any sense. He's our big star. Why are we why are we making our big mm -hmm. star into the secret bad guy of this at the end? And but you know, it's the uh, the screenwriter is changing that because he wants to. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He, he well he he maintains that that it's it's been that way that that was always his intention. Mm -hmm. But that the producer, you know, fought it and wanted a, you know, good guy story, you know, just like they're doing over there at Hammer Films. And uh, and basically they want they want to make the next Christopher Lee here uh, so that they can, you know, get their uh, uh, get their Devil Rides Out equivalent movie. And, and he's like, no, we're going to keep this as close to history as possible and apparently has convinced the producer to go along with this okay but nothing that well i don't know i'm not gonna say i use my intuition i don't know okay it's just but it is okay yeah and if you want to poke and prod uh, for certain things uh, mm -hmm. you know feel free to roll an investigate or okay. an interview oh. or whatever. i will i want to figure out more about this i will try to talk well if I have with the with the author, okay, and with the prop master, and to see why the the director is in a bad mood with him. Okay, gotcha. so what could I use for this? Looking at my, I do have persuasion. Could I use okay. that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah I just I rolled a knight. So wait, let me see. Nine. Uh... And who, yeah, who are you targeting then, first? Uh, uh, the prop. The, the prop, prop guy. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, you head to the prop area to deliver coffee. And yeah, there's a guy in there, Grant Donner. Uh, he's an older guy, like in his uh, late 50s, early 60s. He's wearing just, you know, a simple uh, uh, striped shirt uh, and jeans and such. And he's basically, you know, trying to... Uh, wrestle around a whole bunch of uh, you know crucifixes and and uh, uh tapestries and things like that that they're going to be installing uh in the scenes and uh 
and yeah, you you can see that he's got the he's got the pinnacle more or less out of the box and sort of half assembled uh, when you uh, when you come in. He's like, oh oh, that's that's a welcome welcome sight, and he he takes the copy from you. I smile. He's a. Uh, he he looks back at what he has to do, <laughs> and then uh, you know sees that there's still a pretty girl in here talking. So he's he's like, uh, and say, what was your role? It was nine, you said. Uh, it was ten in total. Ten, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's feeling talkative. Uh, so yeah, he takes the coffee and uh, you know gives you a salute with it and starts sipping on it. I will ask about the pentacle also because I see it in a box. Oh, that looks real. That's a really good prop. Yeah, it's a uh, it's something else. Um, I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could lay claim to uh, having found it, but no, that that came from Simon, uh, and uh, it damn well better go back to him, as I've been told. Who's Simon? I ask. I'm also playing stupid. Oh, he's a. Uh... He's the rider. He's the, he's uh, the, uh, you know, he gestures in the air with one hand. He's, he's the brains uh, behind this whole and shit. And I'm going to tell him, oh, he's that guy that's been annoying everybody because he's changing the story. Yeah. All the, the oh, crew's yeah. complaining about that. Oh, yeah. He can't decide what he's going to do from any given moment. Mm -hmm. And, oh, he's been tweaking everything. The tapestries had to be re redone and, I had to go source other things. It's, this has been the worst show I've worked on in, in several years. And I did a in, biker film. Intellectuals, yeah. Well, well it's that, ass. but I don't mind an intellectual, right? But a picky intellectual. No one likes that. Well, since you're I mean, busy, I'll make sure to keep coffee coming. <laughs> you're uh, in, in donuts coming your side. You're uh, an angel. You are an angel. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get back to putting this damn thing together. And he he picks up a set of of pages that look like they're top written, and he's kind of looking through them and looking at it. And then he goes and moves something else. Uh, but it's pretty obvious that this is probably the first time he's had to deal with this thing because he's still reading the instructions as to how to assemble it. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm going to also say to Gene that if he's used to getting us around, just as catering ladies, we can use it to give access and uh, have her looking at the the pentacle. Do you think? Do you think he would let me take a look at it? Uh, how is Jean? The, is she good looking? You, you realize that what she's asking is, is she pretty? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, she's a, she's a looker, but she's got her okay. hair back and she's wearing glasses. So you realize mm -hmm. that if she takes her glasses off and shakes her hair out, she would get a okay. slow motion okay. scene where suddenly. But yeah. Okay, she, then then yeah, I guess he can. Yeah, yeah. She can yeah, try she, to. She is movie. She is movie mousy. <laughs> so yeah. You you give her some some pointers like blow the hair out, mm -hmm, yeah, and out, <laughs> and seem really interested in his work. So yeah, she she takes some pointers and and says that she'll you know uh, she will uh, make the excuse to bring in a pastry and and uh, uh, chat him up. So she takes off. All right. In the meantime, stunt stunt performer. Uh, your your big stunt today is there's going to be a scene where uh, you're going to double for uh, the Karnaki and the the village girl is going to have some sort of episode and you're going to get yanked away as though thrown by an invisible hand. And so basically they've got like a rope tied up to you in a pulley system and they're just going to yank you into some mattresses off camera uh and so yeah the first uh first few hours they you and and the and the stunt coordinator are just practicing this maneuver so give me an athletics let's see how well you you get thrown asunder by the, the supernatural uh nice nice, nice. oh no <laughs> <laughs> 
I just uh, rolled for how well they do. So this is a agility plus athletics. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So fourteen. Okay. Uh, yeah, they yank you and they 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 bone it up really bad. Like, uh, they they pull you so that you're not going to land on the uh, mattresses, but you <laughs> see. To kill me. Yeah, you say what well, you don't think so. You, or if so, they're really good at acting like you know bumbling morons that are surprised. So, but they do pull you the wrong way the first time, and you you see it and roll through, uh, you know, roll through the uh, descent so that yeah, you don't hurt yourself. But uh, yeah, the the stunt team are like apologizing profusely, and they go and you know reset things and uh, and you know. They're they're just doting over you like oh man we're very very sorry you know please please don't tell your union <laughs> <laughs> I start complaining um, and so yeah they they it's do it so a few funny. more times till they get it right basically uh, and they are also saying that you know this stunt they didn't have time to map this stunt out because it's new you know like Carnacki. In the in the original script was not supposed to get thrown, you know, thrown away. He was supposed to be, you know, the stalwart one, and that they were going to do another gag where, you know, basically the the creature vomits a whole bunch of stuff onto the vicar, and Karnacki has to like pull him to the pinnacle for safety. So they're like, yeah, this stunt is new, and we're we're having to work it in. Uh, so that's why that's why we're. So bumblefuck with it. Meanwhile, the best boy. Yes. You're running around with a clipboard. Uh, uh, helping out. Yeah. Helping so out. they yeah, they throw you immediately to the wolf, uh, which is to say you are helping Roger uh, Coleman out. So when you get to his trailer, he is he is yelling at some uh some person that's with him, which you think is maybe his agent. Because he's like, you know, I can't work under these conditions. The rider shouldn't be steering the ship. I should be steering the ship. This is going to make for a crappy movie. No one's going to want to make out to this. Good morning, sir. I'm the new boy. He kind of turns on you, you know, like he's, you know, you, you, <laughs> you assume for a moment that like beams are going to lance out of his eyes and melt you but when he when he sees you he's like oh hello uh, yeah don't mind me the empire's collapsing around my my head I yes. feel like Richard the third I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh laying in a ditch wishing to trade everything for a for a horse well I'm here to help so what can I do for you Okay, well, here's what you can do. And he gives you a number in Italy, and he's mm -hmm. like, I want you to get somewhere and call that number and and tell uh, tell uh, Giuseppe, uh, who is Armando's uh, assistant, that I need him, I need him to call someone with the production company. We need to we need to change the script. We need to change it back to what it should be. This is nonsense to change so much on, on you know the last few days of filming. And if you don't feel like giving that message, then just come and get me when you get through to them, and I will I will scream for you in Italian. Okay, I'll try to do that now. Do you speak uh, Italian? Nope. Oh, well. Doesn't matter, just say if he speaks English. I just speak American. He nods. <laughs> <laughs> so what time is it at, there in Italy? Doesn't matter. Okay. I'll get right to it, sir. He he no. he nods, you know, pats you on the shoulder. Uh after that's done, come back. Uh, I'll have something else, but uh, that that's priority number one. Yeah, on my way to the nearest phone booth, I'll try to be as being the boy, mm -hmm. and and my job is to help 
basically everyone, right? Not not yeah. just this oh, okay. this guy. I'll try to get the the sense around for who's who, who is who is in charge of what, and try to to know where they keep all the all the all the guns. stuff. All, no, yeah, gun, oh. no, not guns. The the you know the 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 film the Not props the, the props yes yeah sorry the props yeah they, they tell you oh yeah the property uh the property department set up in a section of the uh, mission uh like he's got a little he's got a little uh room set off where he's keeping everything mm -hmm. but they're gonna mostly be hanging tapestries for the next hour or so yeah but that that, that room it's it's uh it's easily accessible or it yeah, and it, yeah, a guy will tell you like, oh yeah, you just go through, and then yeah, it's first door on uh, on your right. Okay, I'll go before I go to to make before making the phone call. Phone call, I'll but, go to 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 check the the room out. But you know, Grant has just had his uh just had his rear rotor rooter by uh by Raj, so you you might be the uh, the grim reaper as far as he's concerned if you show up with more notes okay i don't i don't care i'm going there anyway i don't oh, see man. That, but uh, but i'll i'll just move along he, he he's like good luck kid thank and you then, sir yeah a few of them just sort of look at you like they're watching you go to your day out that poor kid uh, so yeah, you go to the prop area, and yeah, you see, uh, you see, um, yeah, an old dude uh, sitting there with uh, with Gene, who is uh, watching him assemble it, and uh, he's eating a pastry, uh, you know, uh, and she's just sort of asking, you know, uh, 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 innocent questions, uh, you know, as, as she's sort of fascinated by, it. and she is helping him read the instructions. You know, like she's holding the instructions and reading them to him as he's working. Uh, okay. So and that's... when when you come in, she gives you a she gives you like a thumbs up uh, a, a sign that like yes, this thing is a is the real deal. The real deal. Okay. So we know where it is. Okay, and it's the real deal. So I'll just turn around. I'll do, I don't say nothing. I I give her also the thumbs up. Turn around and go, and 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 I'm going to make the that phone call, delivering okay. the delivering the message to Giuseppe wherever. Okay, wherever uh, yeah, um, third ring of the uh, of the uh, phone, uh, and yeah, uh, someone picks up. It's like, "Si, sí, Pignore, brother," and yeah, he's speaking <laughs> Italian for a moment. Hello, Giuseppe. Oh. Yeah, he says something, and then a, a few moments later, you you hear the receiver get picked back up, mm -hmm. um, and uh, someone says, uh, "Who who am I speaking to?" Oh, this is John. The I'm here with the, in the with the filming crew, uh, and someone it's very upset about uh, the script, and they want um, to one go... moment, John. Uh, this is very late time for a business call isn't it they just uh, tell they, they, they just told me to deliver the, the message so i don't well know um, is it i'm there. afraid i'm afraid i have bad news Why is that? i am a i'm an inspector with the police so uh, you're not responsible for the movie script i am not uh, i'm afraid mr de Laurente and his assistant have both been the victims of a homicide. Oh. We have not announced it to the press yet. Uh, we are only recently on the scene. Oh, but they, they got, they were where, today? where are you calling from? Uh, Los, uh, Los Angeles. Oh, well, then you almost certainly are not involved, but I'm very <laughs> sorry to give you the very bad news. Oh, uh, okay. I'll. They, 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 they were killed today. We believe very recently, but again, it is early 
is early in the uh, uh, investigation. It is hard to say for certain. Hmm. You're part of the production company, I assume? Mm, I'm just the, the boy. I'm just delivering messages and coffee and that. Well, take down this number. And he gives you basically a number uh, uh, and his name, uh, Inspector, mm -hmm. Inspector MPC. And okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, he says, you know, please have uh, please have anyone that might have any information about uh, about the recent activity. Uh, if they've spoken to him in maybe the last day or so, just uh, have someone call us and let us know what's sure. going on. And of course, you know, we we will keep everyone informed. Okay, so Mr. Uh, what's his name? Uh, GM uh, Conrad, right? The no. The oh, the one... director. No, no, the one that that got killed. Oh, uh, Armando De Laurentiis. De Laurentiis. He's the, yeah, ah. he's, uh, he's okay, the producer. Armando. Okay, producer, and and the other guy is the. And uh, oh, Giuseppe is his. Ah, Giuseppe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Front. Whose name was Giuseppe Bolianaro. Okay. But, but that doesn't matter because he's just okay. the assistant. Okay, then I, I just. Uh, but the, but the inspector will tell you that the man had a family. Had that what? The man had a. The, uh, Giuseppe had a family. And they're very. They're going to be grieving for him. Mm. So don't write him off okay. as just the assistant. And then he gives you some tribe, diatribe about how. Men like you and Giuseppe hold up the world by assisting other great men. Oh, and you shouldn't you. feel bad about being a lowly assistant on a production. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, well, well, and I've got a cousin that worked on a spaghetti western directly <laughs> under Sergio Monsini, who was possibly the greatest cinematographer that ever lived. Yeah, he, he talks your ear off. Okay, <laughs> so uh, t tell me what's the inspector name again? Uh, he's an inspector NPC. Okay, I <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, yeah. okay. He gives you okay. his name. Doesn't uh, matter. Okay, <laughs> I've run out of Italian names. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'll 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 hang up the phone and his name I'll... is Manuel Ferrari. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> Manuel is not that Italian. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> the Ferrari uh, is so it could be. Yeah, Ferrari. Yeah. Inspector, yeah. Inspector Ferrari. Lamborghini. His name, his name is Lamborghini for all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so and, his, uh, and his daughter's Beyond. <laughs> and his wife is Lancia. Yeah. So right. uh, I'll before I'll 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 deliver the message to the guy that that told me to to make the phone call, I'll just try to find uh Cassandra since she's she said she says that she's the heads of the operation and I'll I'll you know I'll just phone to Italy now and it seems that Armando and Giuseppe his assistant got killed today. Mm. If you can if you come to find me I will give you some pastries and a coffee. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, so, oh, but okay. I'll I'll also ha I'll also take a a large cup a, a, a latte, please, to take to the <laughs> guy I'm going to deliver this the sad news. So, for information, mm. I'll tell it, you that it takes I'll... them in the 1960s. In America, it probably takes them about an hour and a half to figure out what a latte is. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's just coffee with, with creamer in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Sounds weird. <laughs> okay, so I'll take a coffee and some pastries to the, to the back, boss. Yeah, okay. to the boss. And I'll knock on the door. Yeah, he, he's come in. Oh. Uh, I have some bad news. Won't you sit down? Oh, you have bad news. Well, that must mean we're still on this production. And I'll <laughs> deal, before I'll I'll deal, I'll give him the the pastries and the coffee. Yeah, he he takes a sip of the coffee like, oh, that's pretty good. 
Yes, so it seems that uh, Armando and Giuseppe got killed today. They what? Yes, they're dead. By who? Did you By what you, happened? You, you said Giuseppe before, before Armando. That's interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I talked to Inspector NPC and he told me. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Lamborghini Ferrari? Lamborghini. Oh, yeah, yeah, Lamborghini. <laughs> yes, I talked to. Uh, uh, wait a minute. The great Ferrari. Inspector Lamborghini, Lamborghini Ferrari? Yes. He's known throughout Belgium as the greatest detective. <laughs> and because he Hercule Poirot is dead. <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and he told me that they were, they were found dead today. He, he, yeah, he looks very grave at that. He's like, wow. Yes. He, he gave me my start. I, I, yeah, uh, go go find uh, give me, yeah, give me the, the number. Uh, oh, okay. I'll, I'll give yeah. you. He, okay. he, takes, he, he takes the sheet of the pad from you and he's like uh, go tell go tell Simon that uh, we need to we need to take about a half hour or so uh, for me to before we can start. So he he should not spend that time changing any more goddamn dialogue. <laughs> if you understand my meaning. Okay, Simon. Right away, sir, and they'll go. Yeah, and he he heads off to basically where you were to to access the phone in the church <laughs> to yeah to make some calls himself. So and, and they'll then tell Simon that Mr. Star is going to need uh, half an hour. Okay. Um, all right, Agent Howard, give me another athletics check. <laughs> that trying to kill me again? They, well, <laughs> okay. they're trying not to, but let's I, see. I rolled a natural twenty this time, so I think uh, I'm safe. Oh well, they. Uh, in that were... case, yeah, they're they're doing better, but yeah, if you. <laughs> To kill you me? Basically, yeah. <laughs> no, they're doing better at not killing you. And and uh, you know, with that, you you basically stop them and say, "Look, here's how we do it. Like, do this, do this. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like after after being drug up your feet about ten times, you you basically say, "This is how I want you to do it. You know, because I know I'll I can recover from this. So, uh, and they they jigger it up, and yeah, now you you are basically uh, they uh, you practice it a few times and and everyone agrees it looks good. Uh, so now they want you to go get dressed up as a, a, a to dupe uh, a duplicate Karnacki. Okay, let's let's do this. All right, you head off to uh, wardrobe and makeup, and yeah, they're making up the actors there. So they sit you down uh, and. Yeah, start getting you into uh, into a costume to look like the guy that is sitting uh, right next to you. Ah, so you're you're my double for today, he says, uh, looking looking up from a newspaper uh, while they're styling his hair. Yep. Did any of the previous ones die? Uh, <laughs> one called in sick. Uh, oh, remains yeah. to be seen whether he still lives. <laughs> Yeah, and he, yeah. he, he uh, laughs at that. I'm Frank Conrad, by the way. Maybe you've heard of me? Did I? And he looks expectantly. <laughs> I don't know. Did I did I hear about him or not? Uh, that's a good one. Yeah, let's see. Let's, I'll, we'll see how, uh, yes, you... you I think uh, he, he likes good a, movies. Yeah, he was in a war yeah, movie that you, that you saw. Okay, so I mentioned that. Yeah, I saw you yeah. in that... In that war movie that I can't remember the name, but it was very. Oh uh, yeah, the Dogs of War. What oh, a great yeah. film! Yeah. Great film. Everyone on that cast. Uh, we filmed it in god awful jungle, but you know, vermicillitude, right? <laughs> what was uh, the movie about, by the way? I'm asking. Oh, uh, it was. Uh, it was about. Uh, uh, are you, are you asking or are you you uh, no, you're asking, asking the game master. Uh, uh yeah it was it's basically a uh, bridge on the river Kwai, sort of uh yeah it's a japanese internment camp and 
and they, you know, uh, stage an escape and, and one of them, you know, doesn't want to go because of the oh. thing that they've been building. <laughs> So, uh, madness. Uh, uh, it's madness. Now I'll ask costume. him. Uh, was it <laughs> filmed in, the, in Japan, really, or not? No, we filmed it. Uh, we filmed it uh, in Thailand for most of it, and then, you know, oh. soundstage for a little. That's the bit. same thing, right? Japan, Japan. Thailand. Yeah. Oh no, same. they're they're pretty different. Uh, mostly in the mosquito count. Mm. Okay. But uh, yeah, this film, this film's been a lot better. But uh, kind of a cul-de-sac. <laughs> kind of a kind of a cul-de-sac. Uh, I don't think this is going to do too well. It's got like three cast members, and I'm not even the good guy at this point. <laughs> you're not the good guy, so you're not the protagonist. <laughs> well, I was until uh, three days ago, and now. Now, apparently, this guy, and he hooks his thumb over at a guy that's being, uh, you know, dressed up as a uh, as a Anglican vicar. Uh, this guy's going to save the day instead. And I, I get sprayed with some sort of gelatin mixture that's supposed to be vomit. <laughs> Priest is the, is the protagonist of this movie. That's a bit strange. Right. But I don't get thrown into the wall because you're going to do that for me. Yeah, <laughs> that that you're That's lucky funny. because if I I bet they would have killed you. No, no doubt. Universal. I no was doubt trying very I, hard not to be killed. I took a half punch once and almost died. Yeah. Well, that's that's why we are here, right? The stunt stunt man. That's our job to be killed instead of you. Ah oh, well. Everybody walks away tomorrow, hopefully. But yeah, good to meet you. Uh, and I uh, appreciate you coming out on such short notice. And yeah, there's a, there's a, one of the uh, ladies is in here too. The village girl is getting made up and she's in like, you know, a white night dress. Uh, and yeah, they're putting, uh, They're putting, you know, uh, gray uh, face paint and stuff on her to make her look all possessed. And, and uh, uh, they have, uh, like, uh, contact lenses and such that they're getting ready to do. So so she's going to spray him with vomit. Yeah. And this is in the 60s. So they invented yeah. that thing. Not, not the, ex the exorcist. Was a, <laughs> the exorcist is the first <laughs> to do that, uh, historically. I don't know. Well, you know, these guys... But But no, yeah, you you never heard of this before. Well, won't that be a little disgusting? No, it's just beef stew with a lot of food coming. Am I the one who's going to be vomited on, or or is going <laughs> to do that part? Uh, it's it, well, you're going to get some on you so that you can double for him. But no, he is he's uh he's actually going to have to take it because it's a. <laughs> He says prominent enough scene that he'll be seen, and then you, then they're gonna switch to you, and yeah, you're gonna be pulled back uh, behind the camera. So it's gonna be a big, gonna be I a great scene. I hope it's soup, not vomit. <laughs> you know they're warming it up, so that that should be better than than mm. cold, right? <laughs> Or real vomit. Well. As a member of SAG, I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> and then a few, you know, a few people in the in the uh, trailer kind of chuckle. And yeah, uh, basically, some uh, a flunky runs in to to bring you know the script changes and such. And, and uh, yeah, they they kind of roll their eyes as they look at the <laughs> at the new at the new dialogue. So, pool. When you get there, um, yeah, Simon has just dispatched somebody with the the latest script changes, and uh, there's a lady hanging out uh, with him. And yes, yeah, so when you come up there, they look like they're about to have a discussion, and you you showing up uh, uh, forestalls it. I'll just say that. I already said that no, that uh, he needed 30 minutes just to 
Oh yeah, for, uh, thirty minute. Yeah. Rogers delaying something. What what happened? Did the did the Pope explode? Mm, no, but it seems that uh, Armando and Giuseppe got killed today in Italy. Okay, roll me, roll me a. Uh... Trying to think of the skill. Roll me a. Do, 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 do. Well, do you have uh, do you have persuasion or mm, or empathy or anything? Intimidation. Uh, oh. <laughs> no, I don't think. Then uh, yeah, then just roll me a uh, uh, just roll me a, uh, a wits roll. A wits. Okay. Yep. A violence or a normal? Uh, no, no, just a skill, uh, a skillless. Oh, okay. Wits roll. Yeah. okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, sixteen. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. Neither of these two people seem very surprised or shocked by that news. Uh, and who are they? It's Simon and. Uh, Simon and you don't know who the other lady is because no one's used her name yet. Okay, but Simon is is what I just he is the writer, yeah. Ah, okay, uh, Simon right. goose down, and he's yeah, he has kind of a snooty right. English accent, which I, okay, which I did not do. He's like, What happened? Did the poop explode? <laughs> <laughs> so, I think now he's making some phone calls. I don't know, he just told me that. How ghastly! Well. So it seems that he, it's, he it's, looks at his watch. Thirty minutes should be fine. So it's not any problem, right, for you or Miss? And I'll just wave at her, Miss. She uh, she nods and goes, "I'm Lana Wright, the the chief uh, chief photographer, cinematographer mm. of the uh, of the picture." Yes, she's going to be great shake someday. And then she kind of gives him a, you know, a smack on the shoulder when he says, "When you say it, it sounds like a curse. It okay. is a curse. It is a curse, darling. Poor Armando. The money, the money will surely dry up if we don't finish this thing soon. So, do you need me to do anything? Oh, uh, <laughs> he looks at her, and and she. In gallows humor says bury them. <laughs> okay. Bye, sir. And I'll just turn around and go away. Okay. Do you fully go away? Uh no, I'll just pretend to go away and just turn. You know, normally the boys are invisible to the to the to the in, in the movie set. So I'll just just move a few feet and try to Okay. Roll me a sneak to see here. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, give yourself a plus one because, yeah, you're you're socially invisible <laughs> to a certain degree. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me see. Oh, I have self. Great. Yeah, aren't you like okay. a former assassin? You should, yeah, you should yeah, be yeah. stealthed out the wazoo. Yes, 17. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you uh, basically you know uh, shuffle down and and you know close close the door and then and then double back so that uh, and then yeah uh, you you catch them talking you know, like huh he's dead wow that's rather ghastly rather ham fisted of them don't you think. We didn't give them much time, she says. Perhaps they had to extemporate. Uh, I suppose they cut his brake lines on one of those gaudy machines he drives or something. Oh, well. I guess we'll be finding a new line of work soon. She's like, no, no. We're going to catapult off of this. With your words and my pictures and our grand designs, we're going to run things soon. <laughs> Thousands of people are going to want to see the last 
uh, the last movie produced by the by the great Armando De La Rante. We're going to have so many butts and chairs. We're not <laughs> going to know what to do with them. Yeah, and so then, but, yeah, you hear them clink yeah. coffee coffee books. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically, they're more interested in the in the in their names than okay. And then, yeah, and then they start making out. So if you stay for that. Oh, okay. No, no. I'll just <laughs> go. I don't have time for that. I'll, I'll, I'll just then I'll just uh, try to go again to the prop room, and try to see if I can find. Ooh. What's her name? Our our tinker? Jean. Jean, Jean Hamilton, yeah. Yeah, Jean. Okay. Do Jean, I find Jean the tinking machine is what they'll call her later. Do I find her? Yeah, yeah. She is still um well they've wrapped up deploying it, right? Mm -hmm. But she's still she's still chatting with the guy. Uh because word has gotten around that there's gonna be a a half hour delay so okay so i'll just try to psst, psst. uh she perks up and uh and it's like well i'll leave you to it um i know you've got to put up a lot of uh tapestries and such but um uh, uh, it's very fascinating i hope to see it again sometime he's like oh anytime anytime and you know he kind of you know, uh, looks demurely at her, you know, and, and she uh, excuses herself. Uh, and then once she's uh, outside, she... Okay. I'll what's the admit. situation? So, it seems that uh, Armando and Giuseppe got killed today in England, in the Italy. That's why the, the filming is delayed about 30 minutes. I was wondering if we could take advantage of this and try to assemble our our machine and make a switch. I was trying to find a way to convince him to disassemble it so that we could move it, but he's apparently pulled it out. Now, I think he pulled it out just to see that it was intact. Hmm. Uh, because they're supposed to film with it this afternoon. So he's going to have to collapse it again to move it into the section where they're going to use the set. Ah, okay. So we then make the switch. Right. But they're going to need it for the stunt. So he's going to do that. He may do that sooner rather than later. Okay. So if if you want, I can stay with you and help you to make the switch. Okay. Okay. Um. Do we know if the the, the deaths are related to what's going on here? I don't know. I spoke And to they her. weren't here, right? No, no, no. Speak? Italy. No, no, Italy. Oh, good. Yes, because uh, the star guy gave me a number to, to talk to them to change the script again. And uh, uh, an inspector Lamborghini answered the phone <laughs> and told me that they were found dead today. And he didn't give me any more information about that. She nods. So I, I don't suppose know it if... could be unrelated. Yes, but I don't care. We are just here for the machine, right? She thinks about that. Uh, well, yes, of course. I, I haven't been in the field before, as you maybe could tell. <laughs> yes. So try not to think or get in too much. Just, just go for the job, you know. I can't Focus help on the thinking. Job. Thinking's part of my job. <laughs> yes, but okay, you understand me. Yes, she says in a way that someone that doesn't understand but doesn't want to have this conversation would say. <laughs> so I'll I'll be around uh, pretending to do stuff, and when the guy disassembles the machine, you or me will just well make the let's let's go to the catering truck now. Okay, and get the. The, the box. I've got, uh, we'll just put like a cloth or something over it. 
Okay, I'll help you. Okay, I'm the boy, so I'll be I'll be helping you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can you guys get to the catering truck uh, uh, in in the in the storage area uh, in the back? Uh, yeah, the you have the box uh, of the new uh, version. I just had a cunning plan. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Well, if we want to be, what if we uh, poison <laughs> the coffee? Oh, with God, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get us all killed. <laughs> with, so that people, if everybody has the runs, we may be uh, free to poke around. Or you, or you can set the, st the stage on fire. <laughs> Are you pulling uh, the trigger on this plan? What do you think? I don't think is yet. Well, you can, you can put the 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 poison coffee on. No, it's not poison. It's uh, laxant. Yes, the laced coffee on hold, and we will we'll use it if if needed. Okay. Well, I have a bad feeling about this writer. So he's changing the script, and he was the one that uh, uh, found the pentacle. Okay, and it didn't seem that, but I, I, it's normal, I think, for this, uh, for this movie people, it didn't seem any, it didn't seem affected by, by Armando's death. Well, why would he? Yes, precisely. So. Well, where is Cooper? I think he's getting his ass kicked now. Yes, probably. I was preparing for that, and now I'm. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, yeah, you pretty much uh, get the word that yeah, everybody's gonna take thirty, uh, because yeah, the director has to make a bunch of phone calls. Uh, and then can if you get any script changes, ignore them. And and the yeah the the <laughs> the the, <laughs> the the actors are all like oh thank you Lord. <laughs> so yeah, they they're like, well, don't don't mess your costume up. But if you want to hit the uh, catering or anything, feel free, and we'll meet you back here in about a half hour or so. Coffee break. Yeah, the coffee okay. and pastries are really good today. So you know, take advantage. <laughs> Yesterday those muffins were horrible. <laughs> and yeah, they get to talking about the horrible brand muffins that they had yesterday. Well, I'm gonna take some coffee to to Simon. Okay. And pastry um, and his lady. All right. Uh yeah, you probably come in on them as they're in the afterglow and she <laughs> she's probably just leaving when you when you come up. She's like, oh, refreshments, well timed, and then she gives you like a little, you know, I know you're going to talk to others about mm -hmm. this look, and then yeah, pulls her pulls her clothes a, mm -hmm. a little straighter and and uh, and haughtily walks off. Oh, I want to inspect his trailer, but I guess I'll have to wait for him to be out. Okay. Uh, how long? How long are you gonna hang out? Well, they're going to. Uh, they're going to. Uh, in thirty minutes, they're going to start filming. So I guess if he's going to go to watch the filming, I can take advantage of that. Okay. Uh, about five minutes later, he he leaves, um, and uh, uh, heads out to where his car is uh, in the in the parking area. And yeah, he just leaves his his spot alone and and heads out uh, heads out to where his car is. So you go in. Mm -hmm. uh, inside, it's uh he's got a typewriter here and, and several stacks of papers and such, just several versions of the script where he's uh he's uh, used a red pencil to kind of mark things up. Uh, 
and then he's got like a morgue, <laughs> a box that is like the morgue of his old uh, older scripts uh, that he's been through. Oh, there's a uh, there's an ashtray here. Uh, there's a cigarette there, but there's also two cone incense that have burned down. Uh, but you don't smell anything but cigarette smoke in the air. Mm -hmm. Mm, and, can I yeah. can I do a search? Yeah. Yep. See anything hidden? Uh, 50, uh, let me look at my bonus. Uh, is it fifteen? Okay. Um. Yeah, you're you're kind of you know you just do a quick no. It's a sixteen. The, yeah. Okay. You do quick raffle through mm. of the scripts just to see if there's anything stuck in between or anything. And um, in one of the older scripts, yeah, you do come to, you do come to a, a receipt, basically, um, that looks like it's from uh, uh, Walton's, uh, Walton's Occult Curios mm. uh, of New York City, and it, it gives an address, and yeah, basically, it looks like he paid uh, about six thousand five hundred dollars or so for this uh, uh and yeah it is it is described uh it is described as a electric pentacle uh mm -hmm. on the on the uh, receipt and it's a handwritten you know uh, uh receipt okay. and uh, yeah he's got a he's got a note uh he's got a note uh uh that you know that he needs to expense this to the production Okay, so we know where he bought it from. Mm. But no signs about anything uh, suspicious about him. No. Uh, I mean, beyond that, uh, no. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of script revisions here, though. But you do notice that the script that everyone is working off of is, is dated as an earlier version. Mm. So it looks like you know, he's been asked to change the script and that basically the current script is him restoring mm -hmm. the original, uh, the original idea of the script. Okay. Mm. And he makes uh, little liner notes and stuff like, uh, you know, with Karnacki <laughs> next to it uh, in the dramatic persona. He, he, he uh, literally writes out boo hiss in red pencil. This and, lady yeah. friends also has a a trailer of us, or, uh, her own trailer. She, she doesn't have a trailer. Uh, she just has a uh, you know uh, the where the photographic equipment is. Mm -hmm. But there is a section where she stores you know the film stock and things like that. But and then she's got a couple of uh, assistants that are you know helping with that. So mostly she sticks close to the camera when mm -hmm. she's working. Okay, so I'm going to take some coffee to her assistants and I'm going to shut them up. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you get over there and they're, they basically got the camera going for the first shot. And, and uh, yeah, they're, everyone is always happy to see the catering person walk up with some coffee. So they, <laughs> um, yeah, they're yakking. Uh, they're just like, well, this whole, this whole thing has been, been an interesting uh, movie. I mean, but, Roger could film uh, traffic and it would be compelling. <laughs> he he knows what sells and uh, hopefully this but, will uh, this will make uh, some some decent money so we can uh, we can use it to use it to get our next gig. I'm going to tell them. Do you know that uh, Armand uh, died? That's what they say, but no one knows of what. I mean, he's always he's always uh, that? driving. <laughs> well, <laughs> he was always driving uh, sports cars and and uh, power boats and such. So most people think he probably had an accident of some sort. Yeah, well, I hope it's not bad for the movie, right? Oh, that no. he had already paid for everything and got all the money. Because if not, there could be trouble, right? Well. 
we only have a few days left before we can wrap on this thing. Now, whether it gets released or not, who knows? But I think all of us will get our checks. And I'm going to ask him about their boss. Do you know that she's having she's... an affair with he and she and Simon? Really? I mean, makes sense. Everybody knows they're friendly. I think they went to school together or something. Mm. But um, yeah, I don't see what she sees in him. Guy's a nasty piece of business. He talks to everybody like, like they're beneath him. I'm gonna try to figure out if there's something strange about her. Like yeah, oh, well, you're, some you're, women you're just have bad oh, taste. Oh, oh, you, you, you. Uh, yeah, they're they're like, well, she's gunning so hard for this, and mm -hmm. she's doing so many in camera effects. I've never seen it, you know. Like, and and, and they they pull over these little plates. They're like these little matte plates, right? We use them to put things into the image, right? Well, she's doing these, and then we're having to switch them out sometimes in the middle of a of a of a, uh, a scene and they show you the plates and the plates are all like Enochian symbols and stuff mm -hmm. like uh, and you know and, and a lot of this stuff is going to be tuned so low or, you know it's going to be lighted so low I don't even think it's going to be visible to the audience do the symbols look like do they have something like well occult do they look oh yeah yeah they're in Enochian okay. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, there's symbols and drawings and, and things like that. You, If you had a Russian guy with you that was an occultist, <laughs> you, would, you would stand a better chance. But um, no guilt, Joe, when you watch I still have I still have a <laughs> skill, so I'm going to put a, po a point in occult. Okay. Oh, well, it makes sense since, you know, your, yeah. your the agency of... does that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay, 14, uh, 15. 15. Um, you do know it's Enochian, uh, which was, you know, basically mm -hmm. the language discovered or or invented uh, by Dr. John D. Uh, it's supposed to be the, the language of angels and devils. And, yeah, you, you can't read what this is, but you know that basically this is supposed to be imparting a, a message of some sort. Doesn't sound good, right? I'm getting the feeling that this film is a ritual. Yeah, and, and the symbols, yeah, the symbols in use are almost universally bad. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing is, if you if you received occult training from, from uh, uh, Aries, Thomas Carnegie is widely regarded to be just a really really good guy right like mm -hmm. he he more or less you know was was a a bulwark of the supernatural community you know fighting evil mm -hmm. uh or what he called saiti manifestations you know and he laid a lot of the groundwork for the terminology and the and the practical uh, defenses, you know, he, he sorted the superstition out from the, the scientific aspects of it. But they want to make him the bad guy. Right, yeah, and and so, yeah, you're you're like, you know, the agency should want to nuke this spot from orbit for mm -hmm. that alone, right? You know, like, it's just it's just stomping on the name of a good man. But, uh, yeah, if okay. you combine that with this, yeah, it, it does seem like they're up to something. I'm going to try to talk to them. And to them, I mean Paul and uh, Albert. Okay. Uh, yeah, with everybody on a, on a momentary break, it's it's not hard to mm -hmm. kind of pull everybody together uh, in a corner. And uh, your your tinker uh, is also along for the yeah. ride. She, so when haven't... she meets up with you, she says, I managed to fold the original back up into the box. Um but I'll need some help switching them out. Now there's there's something I think going on with the box. It has a current currently going through it. Mm. But the battery isn't hooked up. I don't that's technically impossible. Hmm. 
So should we get some rubber gloves? Yeah, well, I, I managed to I managed to get it within the wooden box, so I don't think it'll be a shock hazard, but I think the power has to be coming from somewhere else, which makes me think something got trapped in it when it was used last. In the pentagram? Yeah, that is my assumption. <clears throat> if so, this thing would be very, very dangerous if, if they brought it up and fully used it in the middle of the production. Well, they are using in their, their uh, occult some symbols in the in the film. The cinematography lady is putting them in the shots. Oh, who? So, uh, I have a Lena? bad. Lena? Yeah, the Simon girlfriend. Yeah, Lena. I have a bad feeling. I think this movie it's a a full ritual. So. Besides, they want to make Arnie the bad guy. So probably it's best for us to take the original pentagram and also and the... set all the the film on fire. Yeah. Okay. That's a cunning plan. Or take it, yeah. Or or just take it. I would say also take the. Yeah, probably it's better for the us film. to take. Yeah, and then put all the set on fire. I wouldn't say the set. I'm talking about the the reels. Let's put the set the reels on fire. <clears throat> and do you do you think we should kill this Lena? Uh, what exactly are our orders? Well, just to find to, to well, I think to, to, to know, interrogate her. That could be uh, could be. We need to know who she's connected with. So maybe kidnap her. Okay. Okay, I can do that. And who's going to help our our? And who's going to help Jean just to make the switcheroo? Well, I can help her. Okay, so I'll... And Cooper, try not to get killed. Because I have a bad feeling about this. Not that I care about you. No. <laughs> yes, you do. You're pretending you don't. <laughs> oh, get a room, you guys. So... Yeah, um... the, 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 the tinker, is, is, she's all embarrassed at this, at this interplay. <gasps> is this what field agents talk like? <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs> so while they're making the switch, I'll try to find Lena and I'll take with me. I'm assuming I'll I, I'm I'll, uh, that I have with me my gun and silencer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll assume you would not leave home without it. So okay, so. Uh, when I, uh, I'll probably I'll bring Lena here to the to the to the to, to the cafe truck, right? You're yes. gonna bring her? Yeah, just like, get uh, like yeah. lure her, lure her over there. Find her in the co yeah, find her in the corner alone in uh, Zap the beach. Taste oh, the gotcha. beach. Uh, yeah. So yeah, Lana is. Uh, yeah, you're not. You don't have eyes on her at the moment. But yeah, she's she's still milling around the set. Okay, I'll try to find her and 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 uh, or uh, take her from or uh, try to get her by surprise or something like that. Okay. And Cassandra, you and the Tinker are mm -hmm. taking the box to switch it out. What are you up to, Howard? Getting his ass kicked. I don't know. Tell me. What? I'm trying to break my chair. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what? Someone needs to go and get the film. Is Maybe. that another? Is that another? It's a suggestion. I think we need to steal the, the reels if we can. Is that supposed to be a sneaky job? Uh, yes. Okay, I can try it. Okay. 
Well, let's start with you then. You're you're going to uh, uh, you're going to the the basically find the dailies and the prints and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, roll a roll a sneak to to see if you sneak that 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 I don't have and <laughs> okay, I have agility. So that's it. Twelve. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you, you kind of get by, uh, quite a while, uh, on, on just, um, you know, nobody, <laughs> nobody, um, you know, questioning whether, where, where you're going or whatnot, cause you're, you're in costume, you're on the set. It's pretty, you know, pretty obvious that everybody's, uh, doing whatever it takes to set up the first scene. Uh, so most of the way you don't get question much, uh, but you do get into the area where, where the, uh, photography, uh, uh the, the film is being stored and, uh, yeah, you know, they're looking at the dailies and whatnot. Uh, and yeah, that's when, yeah, where you, you, there's not a lot of sneaking to be done. Basically you, that's you get good. in there and the two people that are, you know, there's an editor here and, uh, and, uh, a, uh, photograph, uh, uh, assistant uh, who is cataloging a bunch of the film or, or you know arranging the film and whatnot and yeah they both sort of just look up uh, as you come in like are you in the are you in the right place mm -hmm. yep what's uh what's going on I'm looking for <laughs> looking for <laughs> are you just yeah. bubbling it yeah. Is he in there? Yeah, I'm looking for him. Just a minute. I just ignore them and go ahead. They they look at each other and they're like, "Well, yeah, no one's in here but us." So. Oh no. Okay. Um. Okay, he's going to kill them. <laughs> am I am I armed or not? Yeah, I mean, uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, roll me. Yeah, roll me a posthumous uh, sneak roll to see if you could switch your gun to your costume in the middle of being costumed. Yeah. Okay, I rolled a uh, nineteen. Oh yeah. Then, then yeah. You you basically once you get recostumed, you you wait till there's a moment <laughs> where where no one's looking, and yeah, you just uh, grab your pistol and put it inside your you know, your, uh, uh, your Edwardian costume here. Okay. So, um, who is talking to me, the man or the woman? Uh, the man who, the, the editor, uh, yeah, who's sitting at the, uh, he's sitting at the little, uh, viewer that, uh, uh, looking at, uh, apparently yesterday's dailies. Who is closer to me? He is, uh, the girl is, is further back because she's grabbing uh, uh, film stock and kind of moving it around uh, to organize it for the day. Okay. Uh, so I tell him, well, sorry, but I point him, I point again at him. He, uh, he kind of, you know, puts his hands up like, Whoa, what what is is that silent is this a is this like a gag yeah i should do oh <laughs> okay <laughs> all right uh let's uh roll we'll roll your pistol and then i need to the stats at, at least it it wasn't with a grenade launcher yeah right well well oh. Bad oh, roll. Well, I, I, I rolled a eleven. Yeah, I think almost certainly his uh, defense is better than that. I want to make sure. There are... Yeah, you you shoot him, and yeah, for half a moment. There's kind of an effect, like like a, a cigarette burn or a 
you know, a, a projection burn on a, on a, uh, you know, on a, uh, an item that you're watching on the screen. There's like that, the, the, the area that you shot like blooms with light. And then, you know, there's a couple of, of, uh, you know, like black bar, uh, items, you know, and then, yeah, that, that portion just sort of folds itself back and he's back. Uh, but it looks kind of like he flickers for a moment. He flickers. Yeah. And, and, and the spot that you shot literally just looked like a film burned through in a projector. Okay. And then he stands up and he goes, oh, ho, ho. bad, bad, uh, bad move there, buddy. <laughs> and yeah, now it's his. So let's see. Uh, yeah, he he makes a, a gesture where he sticks his hand out and there's another uh, flicker like a like a film edit. And then he is also holding a gun uh, that he levels at you. But then when he shoots it, uh, uh, it goes a little astray because, yeah, by then you've, you've both kind of recovered from what you're seeing and, uh, and uh, are moving. Now, the girl uh, dives, uh, you know, behind the film and is, you know, freaking out like, what's going on? What in the world? Uh, as far as you can tell, she didn't see him do anything weird. But now she's hearing two people shoot at each other. <laughs> and she had no expectation that either of them had a gun. So yeah, she's she's in a uh, she's in a weird place. But yeah, we're we're back up to uh, to the top of the queue. Let's roll former initiative now, though. Uh, or do you have gunslinger? No, not this character. He he does not. But uh, he didn't roll very well, so. Uh, four. Yep, you will. Uh, you will go before him. Okay, I shoot him. Huh? Thirteen. That will hit. Uh, Do you want the location? Uh, no, just damage. Okay, damage is a four. Okay. Uh, yeah, this time you hit him, and yeah, that same effect, except it lingers this time. Uh, it, it it boils itself down to just like a, you know, like a little pinprick, but that that one little pinprick is still leaking light. Um, and yeah, he winces, uh, and then and then turns his uh, gun, for lack of a better word, uh, in your direction. And oh my gosh. Uh yeah, and he pops off another shot, but again, this guy this guy was not made for the westerns because yeah, he <laughs> he uh he just winds up taking out uh, a segment of stone behind you. Okay, I'll shoot him again. Okay. Um thirteen. Yes, I will hit. And uh, two for damage. Two, okay. Uh, again, another shot uh, goes in, and yeah, it, it it does that warping. The warping tightens down. Now the two, you know, two beams are coming out of him, and they're kind of crossing each other. Um, for his next turn, he is going to, uh, he's going to, uh, forego the gun and try something else. Okay, yeah, he he. Uh, there's another flicker, uh, and you kind of see each little flicker of frame. He, you know, the 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 aspect of him changes a little bit, uh, and uh, frame by frame, he reduces down in size and and becomes a wolf. Uh, he becomes a wolf, and yeah, but he's still got the two little, uh, the two things, uh, the two light beams coming out of him. But now he's he's more compact and and uh, uh, angry looking, and that 
takes him a whole turn. So. Okay, so can I shoot it? Yep. I'm assuming I don't have to roll for sanity or something. Uh, no, yeah, it's it's probably a good time to make a wisdom check. <laughs> okay. I or a wit, uh, yeah. I rolled a wit, right? Yeah, wits, yeah. I rolled a uh, and is that under your wits? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have to check it. No, it's, <laughs> it's not under my wits, no. It's a, okay. It's then, yeah, at this point, you're, uh, do you want to roll the, uh, the effects. What do you want me to look at? Do you want me to open the book? Yeah, I've got it open. I'm okay. just in a, let's see. Is there a different page? <laughs> <laughs> this is supernatural, right? I failed by one, so if that is what. Oh, okay, means. yeah, that that just means yeah that you're yeah you're you're shocked and yeah you you forego a turn. Are you uh, are you going to flee? Uh, or are you going to uh, stand pat for a turn? And wait to get your wits back about you. Um. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to flee, but I'm going to. Is there something some place that I can hide behind? Uh, yeah. There's like uh, there's some uh, film here. You could jump over with the girl. Okay, so and I'll do that. Kinda, okay, uh, you jump in, and now yeah, she sees you, but you're still a person, and that guy isn't. <laughs> and she, you know, so she's obviously already failed her, you know, her wits check. So. Yeah, she for a moment she sees you and she's sort of scared of the gun, but then, but now she knows that yeah, nothing nothing is what she thinks it is. So yeah, she's sort of fetal balls uh, into a, into a corner and is covering her ears against the gunfire, um, and he is going to take a run and try to maul you. Uh, what's your defense? My defense is... Is a 14 hit it? Is a, I don't think so. My defense is... Um, no, yeah, it's 12. So, okay. yeah, it hit me. He does three points of damage to you. And it feels weird. Like, when, when he strikes you, it doesn't feel like you're being hit by something... It doesn't feel like you're being hit by something solid. It feels like you're being pushed against... Like a, a, well, yeah. At this point, we we know what the metaphor is, right? It feels <laughs> like you're being pushed against a a piece of film that is running, and it, yeah, the friction of it, you know, is what what tears at you. And so, yeah, it's like it's like basically being hit with a belt sander. Like you've got to scrape, a, you know, uh, it's torn it's torn your costume up a little bit, and yeah, you've got to scrape on you, you know. Uh, uh, from where, yeah, he sort of sanded a, a bit of you off. Okay. Can I shoot it? Uh, yes, you can. Okay, let's... That should be... Okay, so this is a 15? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and... His defense is 13, so... 5 yeah. damage. 5, okay. Let's see. That uh, yeah, well, when you when you yeah the, when you take this shot, um, there's a moment where it it sort of does the little burn effect, but it it manages to streak all the way from edge to edge of him, and when that happens, the film tears, and then for a few moments he sort of flickers, but then he's just gone. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, it's like flip, 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 and then yeah. I look at the woman. How is she? She's yeah, she's a mess. She's like crying and you know, snot bubbles and the whole thing. Yeah, she is. She does. She can't deal with what she's seen. That's because good. for her vantage point, 
he became 2D, right? Like he just sort of crushed together and then you're shooting him and lights pouring out of him. But yeah, she's she's a she's a mess. So what did the boss ask for, ask is exactly? What oh did what did what did uh uh oh um, just just to to take back the, you do? yeah to take back the pentagram and to if possible to try to try where they bought it i think yeah no for yeah me, they, for they 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 wanted to recover the equipment but but you you guys have discovered a new layer of it and then cassandra had asked you to get rid of the film basically mm -hmm. so burn it right <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can start that piling be, it up and I guess, well, setting it, be, it on fire. It might already be burning. There were shots fired in here, so it's, I guess. Uh, you yeah, see, I, I was right. Well, anyway, I light a, a lighter and... Yeah, it, uh, again, yeah, you, you just sort of push it to the middle, and then, yeah, it, it doesn't oh, take yeah. long. It doesn't take much to get yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the film to go. Yeah, the film will burn up real quick. Now, now, yeah, Should you I need take to get the woman out of here. Or huh? Okay, I take yeah. the woman. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You grab her out because yeah, it's pretty noxious too once it gets going. But uh, yeah, you come out and yeah, the, like a few of the safety, you know, the stunt team and whatnot notice the smoke, and uh, you know they see you coming out, you know, with uh, some scrapes, uh, you know, a scrape across your chest and and uh, you know smoke coming out and you're carrying. You know this poor panicky girl, and uh, yeah, for a few moments they assume that you're you're being heroic as hell, and not that you just shot the editor <laughs> and set their movie on fire. Well, he's a hero. It's a, it was a devil's movie, right? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It was it was communist propaganda. Now, yes, exactly. uh, Cassandra, Cassandra, and and uh, your tinker buddy, you uh, yes. Yeah, you get uh, you're you're uh, getting the thing in. The prop master uh, is is not in the room at present. He's hanging up tapestries elsewhere. Okay, so, so let's let's get to let's get this done. All right, uh, you, you switch the old box out and you know put your blanket over the new box and roll me a uh, what. Roll me a, I guess sneak roll is probably the. Uh, not good. Uh, ten. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you guys are <laughs> getting the thing piled up, and then now everybody is looking in the direction of the church, right? Like the whole place is looking now. There's smoke pouring out. Uh you know, uh, from one of the other doors. And now you're just not sure how to get, mm -hmm. how to get this box out. And, you know, that's when you see Simon walking in, you know, he's got his handkerchief over his mouth and nose, and he's trying to push in to, uh, not to his office. He's going mm -hmm. straight for the props department, which, you know, <laughs> you know the jig is up anyway mm -hmm. so uh and yeah so he he sees you guys as you're as you're in there and you know he's he he wants to take the, the handkerchief off but he, he dares not so he's just sort of like whoa, whoa, whoa. well you i'm know. gonna hit him all right do i have to roll initiative uh no, you'll get a surprise round if you're gonna punch okay. him because he's a, a feat, uh, intellectual okay. and violence is the last uh, uh, is the last resort for him. Okay, so twelve martial arts, uh, fourteen, uh, uh, sixteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sixteen is definitely gonna hit this guy. So you're martial. So you're not just punching him. You're like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> judo chop. Stupe does have a gun. He would drop it. Do I do damage? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just one. Okay, okay. So, yeah, you, you clock him really good. Uh, and consequently, he drops his handkerchief. And, uh, you know, then he, he, he sort of gives you a look and is like, 
you know, uh, the snarls at you, you peasant, and and uh, uh, punches in your direction. Uh, 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 yeah, and he does not hit you. He, he you know, he <laughs> tries for he tries for a good punch, but he ends up just punching the uh, the door jam, and you hear you hear bone crack uh, as he does so because I rolled a natural one. <laughs> he punches so, himself. <laughs> right. He, yeah, he basically does more damage to himself uh, by punching it. And he's like, damn it! Mm -hmm. Keep your hands off things that don't belong to you. Shut up, you co uh, communist cultist. Yeah. Of course communist. <laughs> the communist thing actually seems to wound him. <laughs> <laughs> Not not the cultist, the communist. I'm not a communist. I work for a living. <laughs> uh, if you want to, all artists are communists. I will I will kick him because he's in the floor. I'll kick him in the face. All right. And I'm going to use my avenging angel. Okay. And he's gonna punch Ten. in your legs just to make Miguel sad. Oh. Ten, twelve, uh, uh, eighteen. Yeah, oh, good grief! Yeah, okay, yes. And now I rolled a six in the. This damage. guy's defense is is a pure ten, so yeah. Yeah, and I rolled a six in damage. I'm rolling just one d okay. six for damage because this is. Gotcha. That is unharmed combat. That is a decent amount of damage. So let's see what. I'll kick. I kicked him in the mouth. Okay. Yeah, you you kick him and yeah he he rages uh, a little bit and yeah. Uh, at that point, you know, he he uh, reaches reaches inside his, his coat pocket and comes out with what looks to you to be like a handful of straw mm. and begins, you know, like uh, speaking in something that you think might be Sumerian. And yeah, the uh, as he's crushing it, you feel a force uh, gripping on you. Um, what's your defense? It's, you said sixteen. Uh, no, or, twelve. No, twelve. Okay, he uh, yeah, he does six points of damage to you as he's you know basically grabbing mm -hmm. the straw and twisting it. You you feel the same thing being done to you. So uh, he doesn't. You know, it's not. He's not crushing you the same, but that sympathetic magic is basically uh, doing damage to you. And yeah, his his nose is bleeding, uh, or his uh, lip is bleeding like crazy. And he's he's uh, yeah, actually, let me roll it. Yeah, he is stumbling. He's stumbling backwards. He doesn't. He he's deciding that he doesn't want a part of this you know that, or he will he will find another way of, of handling this uh, so yeah he is trying to get away uh well i'll pull uh, a gun could okay. i have a, a constant weapon and i'm gonna yes. shoot him all right uh 13 is my third combat round so i still have my bonus 15 uh 16 yes uh, yeah, he's uh, but it's damp. only uh, two damage again. Two damage is enough to drop him, though. Uh, okay. So he's still alive. But yeah, you you basically you know put one in him, and whether it's the smoke or the fact that you've clocked him a couple of times or whatnot, and he yeah he does kind of uh, you know slink to the to the uh, ground, and he's holding his his wounded shoulder, and yeah. He's I'm going to immobilize so the, him. Yeah, he's breathing heavy, so the smoke, you know, basically gets to him. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, roll me a uh, roll me a toughness roll. Uh, it's an avoidance, or yep. Okay, I rolled a two. So. Okay, uh, so yeah, the the fumes so far, you're you're doing okay with. You're you're basically combat breathing. So. Okay, I'm going to mobilize him with something, and uh, okay. while we take this, the we trade this. Well, I don't think we need to trade it. I think we just need to figure out how to pick the original one into the van, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Van. You. Uh, the easiest thing to do is just take his own tie off and yeah, mm -hmm. put it around his arms, uh, and then yeah, he's he's choking, 
anyway. So you, yeah, you just grab him by the scruff and <laughs> tote him along. Um, Cooper is probably uh, well. No, he's he's headed out. So yeah, he he will be outside. But but yeah, you can hear people outside now carrying on. But but also there have been a couple of gunshots at this point. So try to think how people would respond to what's going on. <laughs> But yeah, no one knows what exactly is going on at the moment. Speaking of pool, you yes. are tracking down the cinematographer lady. Yes, Linda. Okay. Uh, yeah, she um, she is going out. Uh, you're following her. She goes out to her car as well. Uh, okay. And yeah, that's when uh, that's when you hear some gunshots roar out. Mm. Uh, it, are we? Alone, or is is there in uh, is there in, anyone in uh, in high sight? Uh, no, there uh, at present there is not. Yeah, and she hears the shots uh, from the church, and she sort of turns in surprise. And okay. now, instead of just getting something out of her car, she's getting into her car. Okay, so I'm going before uh, while she's opening the door. I'll just go from behind and choke her, put her, put okay. her to sleep. Uh, put her to sleep. All right, roll, roll me an initiative. Just initiative. Make sure, yeah. That... Okay, D six plus dexterity, right? Correct. So pa, 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 six. Okay, you will go first. So yeah, roll your roll your attack. This is melee, right? Correct. Okay. Or brawling. This is with the muscle. Muscle, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, 13? Yep, that will hit her. So I'm just trying to, you know, choke her to unconscious. Okay. Uh, roll, roll, yeah, roll me the damage. It's a what? D6? Uh, I think it's a D4 if you're D4? just okay. unarmed, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, three damage. Okay, yeah, you're like Ugh. you hear, you know, choking, but she makes a weird sound when she's choking. Like, it sounds doesn't sound like a woman. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> it sounds like a you know a what like almost an animal of some sort. And then, what's your defense? Uh, defense, defense, defense. Where the hell? Are, uh, thirteen. Okay. Yeah. She, she basically once you grab her, she just sort of throws herself forward and turns as she slams into her car. And yeah, she's really strong. Uh, oh. but she only does two points of damage to. <laughs> but but yeah, she basically the two of you. You know, she just turns and tries to put most of you into it ah, but yeah the two okay. of you sort of okay. sort of clap into the side of her car as she's trying to shake you off okay i'll now i'll pull tighter okay continue the yeah the choke uh, so so yeah you don't uh just roll me a uh just roll me a agility avoidance roll to maintain the hold uh, on her Okay, and then you can roll another d4. Uh, okay, as so, long as you don't break free. Okay, a violence. Yes, manage it. Okay, and yes, then roll manage. me another d4. Yes. Another d4. Another three. Okay. Uh, and then she. One. Two. Do sort of the same thing. She's now just, you know, you, the two of you are kind of, uh, you know, uh, juking along. So, yeah, she she basically runs headlong uh, and then, you know, at the last minute kind of turns herself and, and basically is trying to ram you into one of the trucks, delivery trucks. Oh, is here. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, she does three more points of damage uh, okay. to you. So five. Oh, I'm getting hurt. Now I'll try to smash her head to the wall. Okay. To, to make the process a little faster. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Uh, oh, now, now I have to uh, to hit, right? 
Correct. Yep. It to see if I can. Uh, 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 so, uh, 13 again to hit. Yep. Okay. Now it's a D4 again, right? Uh, give yourself a plus one because, yeah, you guys now are, she's got momentum going. So, if you like, you, you know, okay. kick off of something, then her momentum will help you. Okay. So, yeah. So, five. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, yeah, basically she's, you know, slams you into the truck and you, you get a foot on the truck and push both of you <laughs> so that she goes smash it. Yeah, you've, you've basically bounced off of like three or four cars in the parking lot now, you know, so, uh, you know, there's shattered windows and things going on. Uh, but yeah, you clock her pretty good. And okay. at she's that out. point, yeah, at that point you feel her changing underneath you like you, you so feel what? you realize that you have not been holding on to a woman this whole time you just haven't been noticing it you yes. just your brain has been telling you that you've been grabbing a woman but now you're holding on to this large uh uh ebony looking uh creature that looks like uh like a muscular man uh with what? like peaked peaked the ears fuck yeah you're like, why didn't I know that this was what I was tussling with a few moments ago? So, yeah, make me a wits roll. Just a, uh, a, vi a roll or, or, or yeah, an avoidance roll. Uh, yeah, avoidance, okay. Because, uh, yeah, you're, you're basically... Oh, cool. Uh, okay, success. Okay, yeah. So, basically, what you, you figure out, and, and it doesn't kind of get to you because you 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 know this from from training basically that like yeah that that some supernatural creatures just have a perceptual filter right like they they tell your head what what you should think of what your interactions with them are okay. so you think you're with a woman but all the time you're actually <laughs> looking up at a seven and a half foot tall you know gin and oh. talking to it but but everything in your memory and everything in your perception tells you that you're talking to a woman it, to a and woman. yeah so now you're seeing why she's tough and and buff and yeah why uh, why you've uh, been doing this dance is is there any is there any uh, thing tough strong that i can uh, um secure him it like um, chains or a large rope or uh oh well, she's not out yet by the way yeah I, I, she's just now can't maintain her guys anymore yeah so she you're still tussling with her but okay with, so with I'll, him uh, uh, okay so i'll smash again he said it said against the 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 car window oh what's his turn <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> just, okay. Yeah, I was just belaboring what what your <laughs> uh, what your damage revealed. Um, your defense is uh, 12? twelve. No. Oh. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, then I do not hit you. Yeah, he he tries another gambit, but yeah, now that you now that you clock where he actually is, you realize where the punches are really coming from. So yeah, you you manage to to get yourself free, unless you want to keep. Yeah, nope. unless you want to keep holding on. And I'll smash his it set again against okay. the Okay. Uh, Romeo Brawling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh so to hit is uh fifteen. Yes. Okay, and damage is D4, right? Yep. Okay. Uh three. Okay. Yeah, that. Um, yes, you you clock it, and yeah, you, you know, and it lets go, and it, you see him kind of stagger for a moment, and then kind of shake his head to to get his wits back, but he's he's had it with being here, so he he says Jupiter and be gone, and <laughs> it claps claps his hands. And yeah, it turns into a purple smoke. Oh, oh, fucker! Okay, so it just disappears, right? Yeah. 
I'll open the 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 car door to see if the, if there if there is any briefcase or any papers yeah. inside. You open the car door and it's just got a dent in it, so you're like, yeah. you have to like <laughs> yank it to get it open. Uh, but yeah, there uh, she's got like a little uh, attaché case here and so, the purse. Okay, so I'll take the purse and the attaché case and go meet okay. them. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right, you're you're getting out, uh, um, Cassandra. You've got the guy. Uh, how are, how are you want what what's priority here? Are you going to try to help with the box? Or are you going to uh, get the guy? Well, I think it was, if you need help with the box, will be the box first. First okay. the box, then the guy. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, you get the box out easily enough. Most people are just helping people get out of the church, so. Yeah, they, they're not really questioning what mm -hmm. you're carrying so much. Although you probably, you know, somebody's like, put that down and just save yourself. You know, no, nobody's worth, life is worth a prop. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and yeah, so you, you're able to get it out. Are you going to dribble back to, to the dude or? Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to get the dude. Okay, uh, you go back in, and yep, Simon is there. He, he's okay, not, so we'll, we'll drag him. I'll pretend yep. I'm helping him if someone says. Okay, uh, yeah. You I'm saving Simon. You, you, you frog march him out, and uh, yeah, at this point, he is overcome with with you. So yeah, he's pretty easy to, to manipulate. Okay, and, so I'll uh, put him in the van. Is, Pool is coming back. Howard, you have dropped your girl off, and yeah, you see, <coughs> you see them coming out with the box and the dude. Oh. What happened? Well, we have the box and we have Simon. Did you see anything strange? Uh, no, not yet. I... Why did you see anything strange? Yes, I did. I. I'm did not you sure. start the fire? I did start a fire, mm. yes. But that's not the problem. <laughs> Something but else. But it was always burning since the world's mm -hmm. been turned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, something strange happened. Well, anyway. Mm. <laughs> okay, so good. So you took care. Of, so you're, you, took, the film will be taken care of, right? It's burning. Yeah. You're following orders. Amazing. Now we'll need to find pool. Pool. Uh, pool, yes. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> pool shows up looking like he lost a bar fight. <laughs> yeah, just um, I, I, I'm bleeding. Yes, I'm bleeding, and I come and I come up with a, with a, with a valise and the, <laughs> and the small briefcase, and tell you, okay, we should go now. Yes, let's go. There's nothing to see. Move along. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you guys pack yourselves into one of your cars. Uh, by, by or way, I guess two of you would have come in cars. Uh, by the way, didn't you see any? And I described the the the, the monster. <coughs> the a uh, large onyx uh, bald yeah. man with uh, pointy ears. No. No. Okay, that was Lana. That was. Okay. Yes. Okay. So. Yes. Yeah. Strange things are happening here. I wonder if yeah. Simon knows. <laughs> but can, they can be inter interrogated. Yes. <clears throat> All right. Well, you get you get him frog marched into a car. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you get yourselves. Well, where are you headed? At quarters. Uh, at quarters. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you get yourselves back to him. Uh, to the regional era headquarters. Uh, <coughs> they take control of the box almost immediately. Uh, yeah, the, uh, um, she uh, basically let, you know, Gene lets them know that there's something in it. Uh, that so we, you know, they, you know, they're like, oh, protocol alpha is, is in effect. You know, basically the tinkers and, uh, you know, uh, are like, uh, we need scroll and staff on this, you know. Uh, they they start pulling people in to basically figure out what's in the box. <laughs> like, should they hmm. should they just leave the pinnacle, you know, with what what 
you know, what's trapped in it? Should they try to contain it some other way? Yeah, they start that process and she she kind of goes off uh, on that. Um, and yeah, you guys get, uh, you get uh, Simon into an interrogation area. Uh, some medics look at him a little bit just to patch him up a bit and look at each of you guys. So uh, oh. heal yourselves for a D4. Uh, in, uh, oh, and uh, also, the, and yeah, also, I'm also wounded because he did that weird thing. Yay, yeah. one point, really great. Uh, and <laughs> also give them the, you know, the briefcase and the, and the wallet from that yeah. I found in the car. Um, the yeah, mostly these are script uh, things, uh, script changes and whatnot. Uh, um, but yeah, the. The purse has uh, home keys, uh, you know, things like that. Uh, has her driver's license. It has her, her, you know, quote unquote address. Uh, that whole, that whole stuff. So, so you have access to that okay. when, when and if you need it. Oh, and okay. you know, about five hundred bucks. What five hundred bucks? She has about five hundred bucks in her first two. No, she no, no, she nope, no, that, oh, no, 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 no. Well, that never happened, no. No, no. Don't think so. Well, I for noticing that, uh, you get a five hundred dollar bonus. <laughs> <laughs> it comes right out of petty cash, apparently. <laughs> what they don't tell you is it's petty theft <laughs> cash. Uh, Yes. So Simon, uh, yeah, is is not in great shape. Uh, he's he's uh, you know, but they uh, yeah they do have him. They do have him shackled, and yeah, they own his person. They find a whole lot of that sort of stuff, like mm -hmm. the chicken bones and things like that, for sympathetic magic. And yeah, they set all that stuff aside. That's very peasant like of him. Right, but the uh, but the. Um, the the sword division guys tell you like we don't know that we got everything so you know if he if he gives you problems maybe mm -hmm. safest to assume that he's still got a trick or two up his sleeve hmm. okay well and we still have we could also try to investigate Lena's house we we have the keys and the and the address you do. So, who wants to do what and in what order? Mm. Well, I don't think it's a good idea if uh, she's a he monster for you to go alone. Yes, we all should. So, we just leave. Go. I think someone can, if it's someone can interrogate Simon, they don't need us to do that. So, but they, they say, look, there's nobody here. There's nobody here that can do more, you know, that, mm. that, that we feel like, you know, we can sit on him uh, and he's going to probably need that anyway because he's in a bad, bad state. But uh, I mean, we'll keep him warm for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you, if you need uh, someone to turn you, the only person here that that would be a skilled interrogator is the scholar and if he meets this guy the guy's not coming back mm -hmm. okay and they do not explain what they mean by that <laughs> so you guys okay, head to, what... you head to the lady's house yeah probably yes okay check it out all right you get there um, it's a, there's, it's in a suburban area. Uh, there's like houses very similar to it on every other side. Uh, it's got a bay window in the front with like, you know, 60 style furniture in it, uh, it has exactly one tree in the front and two in the back, uh, a fence, uh, uh, in the back, uh, in the backyard, uh, her car. Uh, was apparently the only one here. Uh, she seems to live alone, uh, based on based on the uh, furniture and whatnot that you see. Uh, but yeah, you are able to uh, let yourself in. Uh, so, tell me about that. Who who has the key? Who's who's using it? 
do you go front door? Do you go through the back? What what you what do you do? Uh, so that's an an apartment or a no, it's a house. It's a okay. it's it's just a suburban home. Uh, okay. So like a, a two bedroom. Uh, okay, uh, so probably I'll just uh, make us uh, make a sweep just to see if there is anyone inside. That circle. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, what you do is basically, yeah. Since it's the the backyard is fenced, yeah. You you just basically can, you know, go go uh, to like neighbors' areas or whatnot, and just sort of see if anything's going on in the back. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, you you do a circuit uh, like you're just taking a walk or whatnot, and yes. um, yeah, there there is no activity inside the house. Well, shall we go through the front door? There is activity in the other house. It's mm -hmm. like, uh, mm. you know, lots of housewives, you know, uh, mm. snooping. <laughs> okay. Well, we are delivery people, something like yes. that. Yes, and we have the key, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Or an insurance salesman. Exactly. Okay. Front door it is. Okay. Um, and you're doing the opening? Yes, I'm doing the, the way you the way you yes, saying it, yes, yes, I'm not gonna yes, do yes, <laughs> yes, I'm going to, yes, I'm doing the opening. Yes. Uh, roll me, me roll me a search. Roll me a search as you uh no, approach the front. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Um yeah, you look around, everything looks pretty secure. Okay. But you notice that the welcome mat is turned upside down so that the welcome is backwards on the map. Hmm. It's turned upside down? Yep. It's uh, like a it's like a weaved it's like a wicker weaving uh, welcome mat and it has been turned so that yeah, so that the word uh, welcome is backwards. Because yeah, it's okay, meant to, yeah. So, so now he's yes, not not. not. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll just I'll adjust the welcome mat to the normal position. Okay. OCD. You pick it up. OCD. You pick it up, turn it over, <laughs> put it down. Yes. yes. Okay. Now I'll open the door. All right. You put the key in. Turn it. Open the door as you step over the welcome mat. You feel like a cool breeze, uh, like a cool breeze blew out the uh, the door towards you. And yeah, you step over the threshold and you're inside the house. I'm not it. That's it. Okay. So you can also come in. <laughs> oh, you're inviting me in. Okay. Um, <laughs> good job, Cassandra. That's a good job, Cassandra. Now no one will suspect you're a vampire. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, no, I ruined it. Uh, okay, yeah, let's a, go. Is your prototypical, uh, you know, Suburb suburban home? Uh, yeah. It looks a bit like a. It looks a bit like a TV set, to be honest. Like, mm -hmm. you know, hmm, like okay. it's too okay. perfect. It's there's no dust anywhere. Okay, so it seems like those um, when you're trying to sell a apartment or a house, those uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It looks like a model home. A yeah. mo yes, model home. Yes, precisely. And each of you, when you step over the welcome mat, mm. feels that cool breeze uh, thing blow through the the, uh, the threshold. I see, probably. <laughs> Could be. Um. So. I'll try to. Uh, I'll begin to to search the house. Okay. To see if any. Uh, which family. room? Which room do you guys want to take? With do you want to split up? Are y'all going together? Weapons out. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Split, split Let's up. not split up. No, I have a bad no. feeling. Okay. <laughs> Never split the party. Okay, so there are two bedrooms. There's the kitchen, dining room area, and then there's the living room. 
Let's start. And then like the, a pantry. Let, and things like let's that. start to the living room. Yeah. And then the bathroom, of course. Yeah, living room. No one dies okay. in the living room. All right, roll me exactly. a uh, roll me a search. Looking and then the... whoever rolls it, give yourself a plus two for the other two people helping out. Who so has she's... to be the? Not me. Which the biggest is... branch? Brains. Okay, I rolled a fifteen, oh, so it's oh, me. Okay, forget it. Not me. <laughs> so you rolled 16. a fifteen. Yes, okay. plus one six. So it's a sixteen. So eighteen with them helping. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this place probably hasn't had anyone living in it for a little while. Even though it's meticulously dust free, uh, there's no food. You know, in, in evidence uh, 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 from what you can see in the kitchen. But the biggest thing in the living room that you see is a Dead body. Arabic style, yeah, is oh. an Arabic <laughs> style uh, 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 lamp um, that is inlaid with, uh, you know, all sorts of uh, uh, jewels and things like that. And you're pretty sure. The, the, you're pretty sure that the jewels are real, but the mm -hmm. the metal that the lamp is made out of is brass. So she's a genie. Maybe. She That's could be strange. A gen. Do, 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 <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it's strange do, that she's do, a genie, do, do, do. but where he's her master. Do, do, do. <laughs> Well, perhaps her master is under interrogation right now. Or yeah, not. but she has her own house. Well, let's rub the lamp. Yes, let's take the lamp. <laughs> let's rub the lamp. That's what... Uh... Or break the lamp. Uh, You rub the lamp? Yeah, let's rub uh, the lamp. Then, uh, there's a, a, the, the lamp feels very warm. Mm. Uh, like like the, you know, the side of a pot uh, when you're boiling water. And uh, but uh, and you when you rub it, and you feel like a, a static uh, on your fingers, but nothing happens. Mm. I mean, you wait for a few moments, right? All of you sort of yeah. expectantly, but but nothing occurs. It's broken. In your well, search, let's... you did not find a warranty for it. So, yeah, let's search the rest of the house. But but uh, let's take the lamp with us. Yes, you okay. pick it up. It feels the, weird. As I say, the kitchen is completely empty. No mm -hmm. knives, no forks, no... Yeah, it, it literally looks like... No you know, food? No food, nothing. Oh. Okay. It, it looks like you say, like you said, it's just a display. There is... Some fruit on the dining room table, but when you poke at it, it turns out that it's just plastic. <clears throat> now let's look at the pantry. Uh, the pantry is bare. So no food also. Damn it. Are you hungry? Not You've really. just had a whole lot of catering. <laughs> yeah. We've got muffins at home. <laughs> 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 so now the what living uh, uh dining room? bedroom bedroom okay uh the bedroom uh does look like it's had some activity uh oh. the, the yeah and and it looks like yeah it looks like someone has been here uh, probably more than one someone uh yeah and there's some candles here and and uh, uh you know rose petals uh, uh you know uh, strewn around the floor and that I'll, sort of thing. I'll turn my UV light on. <laughs> <to see. laughs> Fortunately, you don't have one. Yes. Uh, because, <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, but and, and the, the, the same with the bathroom. It does look like, yeah, the, mm -hmm. the bathroom has had someone, uh, you know, in attendance. Uh, was a person. Now, the next bedroom? Uh, the other bedroom is just completely sterile. Yeah, it looks looks like a hotel room. 
so what's missing the the dining room right uh the, well the dining room and the kitchen together yeah oh, okay. they, they just okay, have the okay. fake they just have the fake uh uh, fake plants everywhere, fake fruit on the on the kitchen table, and yeah. Is there is there any um, uh, floor uh, uh, door on the floor? Any for the basement or or uh, the attic? Is there an attic? Ah, um, yes, there is a a, a little pull down uh, pull down. Uh, uh, basically, it's a uh, a pull strip that uh, there's a. Mm -hmm. like a horrible little spring noise and yeah, yeah. and then a fold out ladder that goes up into the attic oh this and this in india remove our movies is it's quite nice yeah um so let's light up uh a light i don't know if the, he, he, okay is 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 there any light upstairs or no any light bulb um, I, there is a little the... bit of light just from the uh, vents, um, you know, because it's daytime. Hmm. Uh, just the air vents are letting in a little bit of light. But yeah, you'd rather have a flashlight. So I'll, be... yes, I'll turn on the flashlight. All right. Uh, yeah, you head up and look around. There's um, mostly just, uh, <laughs> you know, there there is a little section here that's been boarded over as a storage area. And in that, yes, there is a trunk here uh, that looks like it's made out of uh, um, <laughs> probably wood, uh, but it's been covered by purple leather. Purple and it has, um, yeah, it has like uh, old brass tacks kind of hammered into it for uh, for aesthetic. Yeah, so, so yeah, purple I, upholstery, sort of. I called them to see that. And then everything else is just pink insulation mm. everywhere. <laughs> mm. Okay, should we open it? Yeah, sure. Open it. Is there anything written on the on the trunk? Um, any, any no. Symbol, uh, symbols, it, letters. It, it does the lock instead of having like a key lock or whatnot. It it looks like it has maybe like it's sort of like a safe. A combination except it doesn't have that like you know that little protruding thing it looks like you take it like a dial and spin this brass dial uh and there's no numbers or anything it's just it's just like a, a brass dial where the where the locking mechanism be okay i'll, I'll start spinning it okay shoot it uh, not just to see if i can Clockwise or counterclockwise? Counterclockwise. Okay. Yeah. You pull or you twist it counterclockwise. You hear one click, two clicks, three clicks, and the and the uh, uh, the top uh, snaps open. Basically, a few, just a you know a small gap appears as the mechanism turns loose the top. Okay. I'll start uh, with the flashlight pointing. I'll start opening okay. very slowly. All right. Uh, you open it up. There's definitely a whole lot of little brick brack in here. Um, it looks for half a second. Uh, roll me a uh, roll me a uh, a brains roll. Brains. Yeah. Avoidance or, roll. And a avoidance roll. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Yes, five of five bread. Oh, yes, now natural 20. <laughs> yeah, you open it up, and for a second, you're like, What is all that stuff? And then you're like, Oh my gosh, I bet that's snakes because it looks like there's something black slithering oh, uh, right. as you open it up. Yeah, okay, I'll just shut and back up. Okay, snakes, <laughs> the guy has snakes inside. Oh, snakes. I, I pull it up. Okay. Boo. Uh, it is is not snakes. It's rolls of film from various oh. eras. Like it's it's film, like it is film all the way up to the modern day. Like they're little spools or segments of it uh, here I and there. I think we should, should take this with us. It's not snakes? No, it's film. 
Oh, okay. My bad. So this is okay. weird. Gina, Gina, or the end. A movie film. Collection. Yeah. Well, let's let's take this in the lamp with us. Is it? Can we take the 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 casket, the the trunk? We have two strong yeah. men here. Of course, yeah. we can. Okay. It only took one strong man to put it up there, so yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys get it down uh, and and into into the trunk. Uh, by this time, there's a couple of neighbor ladies outside, kind of, you know, watching what you're doing, especially when you start <laughs> taking stuff out of the house and put it in your car. Okay, so before we get before we close the, the, the door, I'll just turn around again the welcome mat. Okay. Um when you do that, yeah, you feel a warm a warm breeze blow from your back towards the door. Hmm. Oh. Oh, should we take okay. I'm going to take the mat with me also. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, fair enough. Yeah. You never you put know. Put the mat in the car. Yes. <laughs> face up or face down? Face down. Face okay. Uh, when you do that, you feel a warm breeze blow into the trunk. <laughs> the car explodes. Okay. <clears throat> Everyone yeah. gonna let this happen. <laughs> okay, you close the trunk. Okay. Right, you're ready to go. Uh, one of the bravest <laughs> of the ladies, uh, one of the bravest of the ladies, walks up. He's like, "What's going on here? Uh, you guys know? Uh, you guys know the owner?" Uh, yes, she's a person of interest. Is being investigated for suspicious connections with the uh, communists. <laughs> Do you have are you a friend are you a friend of hers do you have some sort of identification i would guess i would have a fake one okay <laughs> she looks at it. oh special agent I'm very sorry um no no we don't know her very well she's a uh, she's new to the neighborhood only been here a few weeks mm -hmm. did you notice anything strange well, she's a party girl. She drinks a lot and she carries on with multiple men. Of course, she's a communist. That's what they do. She thinks about it. And if you had a Russian with you, what she's thinking is, maybe I should become a communist. <laughs> <laughs> Get to make time with a bunch of men. Sign me up. <laughs> So yeah, that 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 uh, she goes back to the others huddled there with her trophy of, of information and gossip, and okay. yeah, you, you're sure that they're you're gonna they're gonna be talking for a while, and mm -hmm. yeah, you guys drive back to base. Yeah, and we're gonna be killed by the Met. Well, <laughs> who opens the <laughs> trunk? <laughs> <laughs> I'll open the trunk. Okay. <laughs> Your defense is 12? 13. 13? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you are yakking uh, at them. You're, you're talking to them, so you're, you're not really. And then when you open the trunk up in passing and flip it open, there's a gust of wind that blows at you and tosses you back but it's sort of glancing and you weren't hitting it direct you weren't facing it directly on so it just throws you a few feet into into another car and you take two points of damage Fuck. jesus i'm telling you this met is strange <laughs> yeah maybe we should have left it there Okay. It's a trap. Yeah. <laughs> do you have gypsy? Do you have gypsy blood on you? It's, it's the unwelcome man. 
and <laughs> welcome. <clears throat> okay, we should take also this to the thinkers. And okay. them. Yeah. Yes, we'll take Yeah, the, they tell you. Oh, yeah, that's an unwelcome map. Yeah, thank that's you. That's a little piece of uh that's a little piece of street sorcery that's going around. Okay, and also we'll give them the the lamp and the films. Oh, now that they're mm -hmm. fascinated by. Um they they sort of look at just a frame or two of the film and then they just put it back down and they're like, "Yeah, we we're going to need a specialist for these. And the lamp is broken? Hard to tell. Uh, yeah, they, they feel on it. And they're like, there's something in there, but uh, no no telling what and no telling how we get it back out. Well, let's give it to Simon. The lamp? Let's interrogate him and take the lamp with us. Okay. All right, yeah, you head in. I think it's his girlfriends. Uh, yeah, you walk into the interrogation room and he starts to say something, then he sees the lamp and yeah, he gets really quiet and pensive. So, Simon. Who am I talking oh. to? Me. Um, and my friends. He. You're not the caterer. Who who am I addressing? What what is this place? It's the place where we ke where we keep the bad people that do stupid things. Those well, meddling then, kids. Well, then you could let me out right now. <clears throat> Let's talk. You have the upper hand. So tell us about the film and your friend, Lana. Roll me, yeah, roll me either a persuasion, interrogate, you know. Uh, I'm going to do persuasion, but I'm hoping on maybe, this. Okay, yeah, uh, 12, 13. Uh, uh, and you have intimidate pool, right? 14, yeah, I was thinking uh, Pulo, yes, I, Howard can do the yes. intimidate. Do, yes. does, Howard, do you have any any? I ask the questions, anything? they will just intimidate. Oh, yeah. growl. I yes. have... Um, uh, actually, I don't have intimidation, but I in, can... Intimidation? I can try to do a physical intimidation. Okay. Yeah. And it, uh, it, it, well, yeah, then add two to your role, uh, Cassandra. Uh, for having them okay. having a meat wall. So, uh, 14, uh, 15, uh, uh, 16. And then is that with the plus two from them? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, he, it was an experiment. Well, and a message, I suppose. I'm setting the record straight about the infamous Dr. Thomas Carnac. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Where did you get your information about uh, the infamous Dr. Carnac? My grandfather was one of his victims. Who was your grandfather? Just a foolish Irish backwoodsman who agreed to sit a vigil with him when he was clearing a castle at one point. He lost his nerve during the operation and fled the pinnacle. His neck was broken. Well, that was his fault, right? If he had stayed inside the pinnacle, nothing would happen. So Barely, Carnage... barely worth a footnote in your... Uh, Carnage is a monster this... because your grandfather was a coward. <laughs> he doesn't like the that phrasing. <laughs> Carnage was a monster because he played with things he didn't understand. I know so something. You... I know something about that. So you are also a monster because you're also playing with things you don't understand. That's why you are here. 
have it your way. But and I have greater designs now. You have what? I, didn't I have greater designs now. Where did you find the genie? Calcutta. Three years ago. Does it have a name? Not that I trust. It calls itself Zazmat. But I wouldn't presume to believe that's correct. Is, the, is this his lamp? Hmm? Is this it, lamp? It appears to be, yes. How do you call it? Do you rub it? Do you smash it? Do you blow it? How? You sacrifice to it. Oh, this guy is annoying. Hit him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, yeah, clever. He said you sacrifice to it. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody, does somebody go hit him? <laughs> yeah. I hit him. Yeah. Okay. I punched the guy. Oh, uh, yeah. He, uh, he takes it and, yeah, he, he doesn't much care for it, but he also knows. That today is not the day he's going to be beating up three people and getting out of here. <laughs> and now, what he, about he the... takes? He takes a, his finger, his uh, middle finger on his left hand, and rubs it into the blood that's on his lip. Uh, he's doing magic. And okay. he's like, "Shall I show?" Slap you? his hands. Yeah, you slap it down on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we get we get the the message. Cool. Yeah, we don't need anything uh, anything for him. Let's just kill him. And uh, I guess they can handle the genie. And what about the films, the, the symbols on the films? That that was that was something that the real uh, the real Lana had. She called the real... them... Oh, that, that's a question. Yeah, what happened to the real Lana? He, he gestures at the lamp. A sacrifice is necessary. Okay. But you're and when it comes, it will come in that form. And you're telling that the real Anna was had the project with the films? With how? It's something she called Phantoms, I believe. She had a way of making certain films into come to life. She was using those techniques in this movie. The intent was to take the thing that killed my great grandfather and loose it on everyone in every theater that saw that film. Oh, luckily, the uh, Armand's films are always a, a flop. Not a lot of people have seen it. But what was the purpose? What was the intent of killing everyone? Just to kill? Nothing else? A sacrifice is required for everything that the djinn does. Oh, I see. With enough sacrifices, a true wish becomes possible. That They're just starts. stupid. Yeah. yeah. What do uh, what terrorists normally do with this type of guys? Do they kill them? Do they lock them somewhere? No, they put them in jail. Yeah. They, okay. They... A special jail for the yeah. So yeah, right. there's no a point. Special Super jail. Max. Is there such yeah. a place? Yeah. <laughs> Supermax. So yeah, to, I don't think we get to anything. The, they go to Supermax nine and three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay. So yeah, you you can bag this guy up and yeah, send him yeah. off and and yeah, change. send him off. Yes, and give the genie to the tinkers so that they put it yep. uh, out and of so, sight. And yeah, so we cut to a scene of basically yeah, the Raiders of the Lost Ark ending where where like the <laughs> genie yeah. lamp and the and all the other yeah. stuff goes into a into a warehouse where the tinkers and the, huge. and the staff guys <laughs> are all just look at it like, oh, what do we do with this stuff? Any one of these things could turn us all into <laughs> newts. <laughs> and thus ends the, the latest adventure of the agents of Ages. Ares. 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 Which is, yeah, which is the, you know, the zodiac sign, not the Greek god. Anything you guys want to, to announce? I, I, I guess you did a big announcement already. Chambara, go get it yeah. in print. Mm -hmm. I need to order my copy. Very pretty book. I think this week it is going to be just uh, just work. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to start releasing some uh, couple of books that were supposed to to have been uh, refreshed a long time ago. Re-release. Yeah. Oh yeah, the companion. When when's that? No, no. Yeah, uh, that's that will be not be a companion. It will be the expanded, uh, the expanded mm. RPG, Ratchet RPG. It's basically ready, but I'm going to leave it for the beginning of the month. Nice. And so this. Well, in that works. case, I guess we can wrap up. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's stop. See you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye bye.